The Central Spartans make their home as they get ready to take on the Imperial Tigers on a special edition of Thursday Night Football. Welcome everyone, I'm Will Torres. With me since day one, of course, my partner Ron Rubio. Color analyst for tonight will once again be Coach Swearingen. Got a jam-packed action game tonight on a Thursday night, Ron. Listen, we've gotten kind of used to these games on a Thursday night. Uh, we've had enough. It seems like every other week we're having a Thursday night game. We got to do what we got to do, but whatever night it is, this is a time. It's a big night for a big football game. Hey, you don't care what game, it, what day of the week it is. The only thing that hurts is your, is your preparation time, right, Coach? Yes, you're exactly. Trying to do, you're exactly. trying to do uh, four days of work and two or three days work, and, you know, that's just – the schools are getting used to it, so. That's true, they are getting used to it. And when you say preparation, right. Ron, let's talk about the Imperial Tigers. What do they gotta do after that defeat at Warren Field against the Wildcats last week? Ron, well, I go to you. Well, you know, the, the narrative for Imperial, how do you recuperate, how do you recover from the game versus Brawley? It's a very important game for them. Not only is it important because, check it out, last week when Coming into the Brawley game, they were number three in Division Three. After Friday night's loss, they fell back to number seven. So they lost four spots. So not only was that, you know, a loss in the league record, but also in the rankings for, for Division Three. So they have to recuperate. They have to get back on track, get them to the ball club that made them six and one when they went into Brawley. Now they're a six and two team. Yeah. As we said, they're number seven. I think we're going to the national anthem. As we get ready for our national anthem, Coach, I want to go to you and ask you the same thing right after our, our national anthem from this great Central Spartan band. Back to Cal Jones Field and Coach. As we were talking about, what does Imperial have to do to be successful tonight? What are your, what are your, what are your guidelines of winning this ball game? For well, you? first of all, uh, Imperial has got a got a tough row to hoe. Number one, not only do they have to bounce back from that defeat that they suffered in Brawley, but they have to be on the road again coming in here tonight. Right, right. Now, and in, in, in my, this is just my humble opinion, but I still think that they're going to, going to have to develop some kind of a red zone offense to be able to power the ball into the end zone inside of the 20-yard line. That's, that's just – and I don't, think, I don't think it's going to be a, a game of breaks. You know as well as I do in football, right. you make your own breaks. Exactly. The last time I looked, the only game for waiting for a break was pool. And, uh, you know, I'm, this game tonight is just going to be who wants it the most. Sure. And, you know, it's a, it's a big game. It's a big game. And as we've always said, the formula, limit your mistakes. Yes. And execute as much yep. as you can. Yes. Well, and, in this type, 
look, we're at the end of the season. There's this. We got one more week next week being the last right. week of the regular season. Look, those mistakes, especially when it comes right. to those silly mistakes, mm -hmm. jumping off sides. Look, they shouldn't even be happening with a good quality team. But don't feel sorry for these Imperial no, Tigers, no, man. No, no, no. Because that, all that is history. And they got to, look, they got to win to at least get in the top four in the Division Three, right. Coach? Well, you brought up a good point. And not only that, a lot of people out there listening tonight and watching don't realize the ramifications of this game. Yeah. Now, if Imperial knocks off Central mm. and Central knocks off Brawley next week, you got a three-way tie for first place. Between well, Imperial Central Brawley. Well, what's never changed, Coach, and we'll get into that as, as the night progresses towards the end, of course, is the Bell game. It always dictates the way everybody's going to end up the season. Right. Because Brawley and El Central are Division Two. Imperial is Division Three. Right. Coach, let's jump over to Coach Rookie Pena and his Central Spartans. Okay. What do they got to do tonight for the win, and what's their personality with the attitude coming into this game? It, 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 this is again. This is just an opinion. But they've had a bye week. Mm -hmm. uh, if they had, and they're getting some people back tonight from from injuries and ailments, they just play their game. And I tell you right now, knowing David the way I know him, he's just going to come out and play his game. Uh, and, the, I, I don't. I don't. Ron, what's your opinion on on the Central Spartans? What they got to do? Not so much what they got to do. We know that they're the number one seed in the Imperial Valley League. What? What's it looking like for for Benya and his squad? I have one word: physical. Yes. Just be physical. Just come out, be physical, be the team that you are. Yep. Be yourself tonight, and I think everything will fall into place. And that's a thing that Imperial needs to know, and they they know that. There's a smart coaching staff over there. They know Central's a physical team. Everybody that's gonna, you know, tussle with them will find out. Yeah. So to me, I think it's just being physical, and yeah. and that's their brand of football. And look. El Centro started the season with very physical teams. I think one of the toughest schedules in Division Two. They were playing the Granite Hills big game tonight. Granite Hills and Helix, Coach. Just a yeah, reminder. Oh, we're barn gonna, burner. That's, that's tonight. Yeah, that's tonight. Wow. Barn burner. So uh, tomorrow we'll, we'll keep. That's there's some good games going on, but uh, yeah. And then they played a Palm Desert and uh, Santa Fe. They opened up with Santa Fe Christian, beat them 1914. Yeah. So yeah. that's you know their top notch team, yeah. Ramona. Ramona. Granite, you know, old tight. So they their schedule is heavy, you know, yeah, it's a heavy so, schedule. And that's what got them going. They got a little bit of injuries, like Coach said, you know, but we're getting ready to see Martin back out there on the field. So they're re I think the Central Spartans are ready for a physical match tonight. Well, well here's the deal. You're both six and two, so you're at the eight, you're what, your ninth game of, of the season. They're, both teams are, are at where they want to be, I would say. Yeah. So... We'll yeah. have to see what tonight. It's a big night. It's a bigger night for me. I mean, it's a big night for the Tigers, as Coach said. They've yeah. got to really perform They, they do. They, they've got more at risk right now. It, yes, I totally agree. Well, I'll tell you what. We got the almost the best seat in house. Yeah, that's, in the, that's house. the key word is almost. Almost, man. We've talked to Sandy and Josh. So we just got to, you know, we got to keep pushing for a little bigger space up here in the booth. But – we're thankful you guys have joined us today. Emma Jones, we haven't heard that name in a while. If you're watching, thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. As we get ready, El Centro deferred to the second half, so they will have a choice in the second half. Imperial will start the game. Uh, I couldn't be at a better place on a Thursday night watching two quality teams with Coach Swearingen and partners since day one, Ron Rubio. As I got to say it before, there's nobody like Ron for my play-by-play. -play. So... Take it away, guys. With that being said, number 16 set to kick, kick is my, Miguel Vega is the kicker. Deep to receive looks like number 28 for the Tigers. That is Bo's in. Bo's in. Needs a big game in that secondary, Coach. Yeah, and he had a great game. We saw him against, it, uh, what was it, the Valley Center, that overtime game. Along with him will be Jaden Wilson. Wilson's one of the leading receivers along with Jared Nixon for the Tigers. So the Tigers coach on offense got to get the playmakers going early. Yes, I agree. They got to get the ball. Ayala's got to have a better game than he did last week. The run game is there with Jimenez and Robles. Let's see what they do tonight. They can't stall out exactly. like they did early last right, week. Right, right. And not only that, not only that, coach, if they do stall, they got to come back with the more energy than he did in the second half last week. And I said Robles, I meant Andres Castro. So here it comes, number four. 20. So that's Wilson. Wilson brings it out right at the 20-yard line. 
And that and already we've got some helmets off. Not sure what's going on with that, but that's just that's just young blood getting pumped up, getting Ronnie. Ready, and they should. This is the kind of game it is. And we have one addition to the VSN. We're still people might that's not realize feature. this. We're we're still a very young company. We've been playing with the microphone, with the referees, something we're still working on, but uh we want to get the I hope you're enjoying the clock. That should help out everybody. We'd like to thank Joaquin Matus for that. I mean, uh, people just think it's easy plug in and go, but it's not. It's a lot of work. A lot of work is right. So welcome once again as we get ready. Ayala uh, said that quarterback split backs with. That is That's Castro. something we didn't see this last back, week. You got Castro along with back there is Reeves, number nine. Reeves is Ethan Reeves is also a linebacker. New formation. Did we see that last week, no, Coach? No, I, I can't remember. I can't it. remember it. And not only that, they came out with a tight end to the left. Whoa! So little, little, little uh, adjustments to the offense. Split on top will be number twenty-four Nixon. Nixon is their leading receiver. Split backs again. Ayala. Interesting story on Ayala. Being he was at Central last year, went back to Imperial, and the give is two. Oh man, First Castro. Quick hit up the middle. Ron, if you remember that crossfire that probably used to run when they, asked you, uh, they run out of the split eye like that? I that's mean, that, good stuff. I mean, that's so, a little bit of old school right there. So the offensive tackle, number 53, that's Aaron Arespe Arambula. You also have another tackle, Aguirre, Ethan Aguirre. Maximus Alvarez is a guard, and so is Ezra Favilla. They're staying with that set. Jose Apodaca is your center. Ayala with the split backs again. A give again to Castro. Castro, can he get a first out? He, bounced he bounces it. it out. Good, smart running. First Hit, down. Ran into a brick wall, able to bounce out, get to the outside. First down. Top notch, Barber. Fresh, fresh fades away, cut away. Visit Big Chris at 317 Wake Avenue in El Centro. Ron, did you get a chance to see that commercial Big Chris made for a nice, business? Nice, nice. I'll tell you what, man. You talk about a guy that's pretty Chris smooth. Chris is a baller. That's a baller uh, location over there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amanda and Chris, and top everybody at Top Notch Barbershop. So the Tigers are staying in this formation. Straight up the middle. That's four straight running plays. That's that's deep in. Brings up second and eight. I'm I'm seeing a little bit of pep on this offensive line from the Tigers. Well, there's a there there is a state of urgency, Coach. Won't you yeah. say on the Tigers? Yes. I mean, I mean, th they've got to they've got out. to come out and establish this yeah. game. Exactly. It, it, I, I, that's just again opinion, but you know, it was a learning experience last week for them. You know, you were going into Brawley. It was a big matchup. Now they got the tight end to the right or, and the split, split out left. to the left. Yeah. With the wing. With the wing. Fake option. Two. Trying to get, and that's Ayala. He keeps it. Ayala bounces, spins his way up past the 40. They're going to mark it at the 41. Third down and let's say a yard. You know, Ron, um, Coach, if, if, if Ron and Coach, if we can look across the field at the down marker, I'd like to congratulate Josh Wise on getting that. No, I like that. That, uh, that uh, is nice. There's that no doubt nice. about it what down it is. <laughs> I, I, I hope we can get a shot of it. What it is, it's a. Uh, it's a it's digital the digital yard mark. It is beautiful. Lighted up digital marker. There's no more. We can see it from way up here. The same formation. The same formation. Defense, defense, defense. Oh, that's going to be against the, the left tackle of the Imperial Tigers. Looks like he moved a little bit, number 64 for the Tigers. We talked yeah, about that at the start. Yeah, of the and, game. and you just mentioned that, Will, and that that this happened to them a couple a couple of times. See that hurts. Critical. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. yeah. The hurts. only good thing is, coach, it wasn't first and ten and make it now first and fifteen. You're still behind the sticks a little bit. But. You know, they, but they had less than a yard. Yes. And now, yeah, now it's just a big difference in your play calling yeah, right here, coach. That to me is a mental mistake. It really is. Yeah, no, and no, it almost no, went the other way. They almost had the Spartans drop Maybe. off, but they uh, jump off. But they were able to, you know, keep keep to their side of the ball. So here we go, third down, big play here. Third play six. action pass, maybe. Let's see. Will they swing somebody out? You have Nixon. You have to always know where number 24 is. Slide jumps it off to Via Campos. And Ron, you, he's excellent short. point. 
now he's short. When you were looking at third mm -hmm. and a short two, you ended up with the you're going to end up with the fourth down now, where that play would have you know who knows what would have happened, but still that just goes to show a, you. A plus thing is though, last week they opened up with the three and out, I think. Or, yes, or, they or did. Maybe they did or not, but however yes, they did. However, now they got a first down. Seventh. Well, no, fourth they're going to punt. Right. They're going to punt. Time of possession will be critical, I think, for the Tigers tonight. Blocked again and picked up by Nehemiah Perez. Special team. Special team. So something yeah. that happened last week has raised its head again on set on Imperial. Last week was a blocked field goal attempt. Now you got the leading league's kicker out punter out here. He gets a block. Scoop and score. Ne Nehemiah Perez. I wish we knew what number got that block. Oh, they came going. I think it was number 12 is what blocked it for the Spartans. Well, we're right? going to say number 12. I didn't catch it, but Jose Rodriguez has been jamming at linebacker. That kid's been on fire. He's our leading tackler, leading sack guy. That is Bam. a heartbreaker. Yeah. You know, it started with that jumping off side. There we go. There, there we yep. go. Yeah. And, and, and this is where, after this kick, We'll Trejo to hold, the kick is up by number 16. It's Vega, it's up, it's good. So with that being said, the Spartans off a block punt now lead Imperial Tiger 7. RDO, minimize your downtime, protect your equipment and investment. Stop by Imperial Headquarters located at 3275 Highway 86. Nothing runs like a deer. I'd like to say a big old thank you to Steve and Steve and Jason, everybody up there in the front counter up there. Brawley Police Foundation. Join the Brawley Police Foundation to support a safe community through partnership with the police. Goals include canine support, technology, youth program, and crime prevention. Follow us at Brawley Police Foundation for more information. That's Chief Duran and Officer, good friend of mine, Phil Magana, which uh, they will be here next week, Ron. So, Ron, let's talk about that, Coach. Special teams was a killer for them last special week. Special teams last week, special teams starting tonight. That looks like number 12 of the Tigers, and that looks like to be Sonny Beltran. Sonny Beltran, a very good special teams player, did some real, very good plays last week for Imperial. Here he goes again. Good return up to maybe the 24-yard line where they were take over for their second possession of the night. That first drive, Coach, six plays, five run, five one runs. pass. Yes. But the killer on that was what? Uh -huh. the, the play that killed it was the offsides. The offsides. So the Tigers now have got to just regroup, regroup plenty of time. That's a positive positive side of things right now. 7-18 remaining. Well, see, in I'm going to see how they react. Let's see what they do. They come out and they're... Now that's Double the standard set. set. Their standard set. That's what we saw all last week. And Jared Castro, little, little or no gain on the yep. play. Yep. Hey, Ron, if there's one thing I really enjoyed was being on the defensive side of the ball, Ron, and whether it was special teams that came through or on the defensive side, that energy that comes out yes. being on the field again when you when you just you know your offense hasn't even been on the on the on on, on, on the field. field and you have a seven point lead. So that defense comes out there and they are pumped. Pump. Up. Well, special teams coach and will it, it's a, when a big play happens on special teams, man, it's extra. It's it's special, just like the term special teams. It's a hard thing to do to score off of special teams other than PAT and a field goal. A block punt is so extra. You that's a gift. You have to spend a lot of yes, time that's special a deal, teams. Man. Trips to the right. Single receiver down to Ayala's left. Motion. Off to the left side. Tigers looks like keeping it on the ground. Jimenez. That's Jimenez, number seven. So they have that dual threat. They have the two commit running back by committee. You've got Jimenez, number seven, and then you also have Castro, number 26. A very good one-two punch, third down and two. Ron, as, as we saw last week, we saw Jimenez run heavy in that yes, first half. Yes, yes, And then Castro came in in the second half. And well, you know, yeah, like, like the times we covered them, Castro ran crazy on, on, on Valley Center. Yeah. It just seemed like they just take turns. Whoever, you know, 
Whoever's, whoever's hot that whoever's night. Whoever's hot that night or the Give play the call. Where the play yeah. call goes, if he's in there, he's in there. So here we go. Ayala looking to his right. And he's going to be brought down, sacked by number seven. That is Matthew Liziola. Did Liziola have an older brother that played The kid here? that played last oh, year. Yeah. At the linebacker spot, right? I believe so. Wow. So that another punting formation punt time for the Tigers. Their first one was blocked. And as we have. And I'll tell you what. Let's give credit to the snapper. For sure. Because it, it it's not on him. I mean, even last week, it wasn't on them at all, those uh, extra points that were blocked. A great punt, a great punt, and a great roll. The Spartans will take over for their first possession at the 25-yard line. Prime hydration with bold thirst-quenching flavors to help you replenish, replenish, and refuel. Prime is a perfect boost for any endeavor. We are confident you'll love it as much as we do. Brought to you by the Alfred Distributing Family. Escod Realty is your hometown real estate office in Calexico, serving the Imperial, entire Imperial Valley. Go see Mark, the Mark of Excellence, at 760-357-9707. Back to play-by-play -play with Ron Rubio and Coach Swearingen. So the uh, Central Spartans take over at their own 26 motion, slow motion, quick out pass to the right. That's Artie Estrada, number nine to the 30. Artie to the 35. Artie's fighting his way over to the 36-yard line. That's going to be a first down. A quick shot out for the Spartans. To Estrada. That's Artie Estrada fighting hard for 10 yards. So the starting quarterback for Rookie Pena and the Spartans will be number six, Luis Jimenez. He also rotates in number 10, Jonathan. Going trips Rial. left, split right. Trips is to the wide side of the field. Single back in their leading rusher. That is Miko Viesca. Viesca gets the right up the middle for a gain of about two. Tries the right side, maybe gains three yards. Second down and seven. And this is Coach. You know the Reeves family. Look, Reeves being the leader out here. He's he's one of those leaders. Going to have to not yeah. so much step it up, but get everybody up on on page. Get them fired up. Yeah. Reeves being Ethan Reeves, number nine. Stud, stud kid, man. Darian Romo's the number 18. And a shot down the middle. A nice catch. Beautiful. Beautiful throw. And that's going to be a first down right at the 50-yard line. They call him Emmy. That's number 15, I believe, for the Spartans. That is Andrew Salazar. You know, the... Central, just, they're just playing their standard Well, right game. now they're coming out with the yeah. big, you know, first pass, got some yards to Art Estrada, and that was the point I was trying to make about Imperial. Get the ball in the hands of your playmakers, and here we go again. Shoots it out to Estrada. Estrada at the 45, tries to juke. He's going to wake his way to the 40-yard line, and maybe is that a first down? It's going to be short, but Ron, you know, you having coached the defensive backs, played right. defensive back, uh, they're giving Artie a little bit of space in between there. You know, huh? if, if Artie, if you, you usually give a kid with the speed like that, you have to give him a cushion. Otherwise, he's going to be right. All you're going to see is the back of his numbers. Yeah, and that's the last thing. I mean, we're already looking at it. One thing I want, I want to tell you is this. Reminiscent of Bora's last week versus yes. Imperial. It yes. kind of seems something that right mm, now. Yes, yes. And here we go, rolling out to his right, and a nice, oh, oh should have been. Yeah, that should have been caught by number 19. Should have been caught by Josh right Garcia. Right between the mittens. So number six, that Luis Jimenez coming out firing, Will. Yeah, no, it, not only coming out firing, coming out with a little bit of confidence in his no, step, too. Look, huh? look at the tempo right now. Yeah. The tempo's there, the ball's at the 40-yard line, second down and 10. <laughs> the thing was, you could Coach tell. Coach Pena's playing his, his regular that's game. That's it, that's it. The give us to Viesca up the middle. Viesca, Viesca, quick hitter, and he's going to gain at least 15 yards on that. So that's right up the middle. Standard play of the Spartans. Big defensive series right here for the Tigers. If I'm, you don't want to fall behind by two scores right off the bat. No, you don't. But I'll tell you what, when you can run against the Imperial Tigers, and they're not they're not small. Those no, five not. guys up front for Central are doing a job they're right now. They they job. We'll get their numbers now. Motion again by the Spartans. 
They give us to Vieska. No, it's not. It's a little swing pass. It's a nice catch. Ron, I, I love that. The most, everything. The, well, the, the previous two plays, when 19 went across and he dropped it, he goes, hey, come on, man. Give me that ball back in Josh, my hands. And Joshua Garcia is not an easy catch on that route. Yeah. like a slant right over with, into traffic, makes the catch. Just good play calling to give those kids that confidence that, to, to get their keep their rhythm going. Yeah, exactly. That's a key word, rhythm. No huddle, gets a call. Everybody's hyped over that good that play. That slant is hard to throw. Yeah. And when you connect on that like he's doing, doing a tremendous job. Again, looking for that slam, but There's, this time it's picked. Hey, you, you alignment get, you went, assignment. Went, <laughs> you went to the well one too many times yeah, on Lopez. that. Well, why not? If it's working, now he saw that. Maybe shouldn't have looked Jayden him up, but Jaden Lopez with a great pick. That was a big play. Ahumada's Outlet, the best brand mattresses at the best prices in Imperial Valley. Get a free box spring in any mattress purchase. Just say code BSN. IID, Imperial Irrigation District, your local public water and energy company, providing reliable water, service, and energy to the Imperial Valley. 24-7, 365, the IID, keeping the lights on and the water flowing in the Imperial Valley. Imperial set to go. So a big, big play, Coach, by Lopez. Oh, huge, huge. Big. They needed it. They got it. Now let's see what can they. And Ayala looking to his right. He shoots it over. That's complete. First down. First down. And coming out throwing, that is Mario Gaxiola. Mario Gaxiola. Gaxiola. Well, Central on that drive had an eight-play drive, six passes, two runs, Coach. Yep. But they got four, four first downs in it, but it ended in an in interception. First down time. It's like you said, went to the well once too often. Now, you know, Luis Jimenez. Number I, seven. Is he a sophomore? I believe he's he is. He's a junior. He's a junior. He played last year as a sophomore. Son of Adrian Jimenez. No, no, I was talking to. Um, Which one? Who are you talking about? Number seven from Imperial? Number oh! Ooh! <laughs> Yeah, Intended for Jaden Wilson, Wilson, incomplete. Looked like it could have been caught. One seventeen remaining in the, the second, second quarter. Yes. Yep. Yep. You know, a special, a special hello tonight to a good, excellent friend of ours listening, Lynn Schnitker, his wife Lola, and Red is down, and I wanted to say hello to them. Second down and ten. Hope Lynn is feeling well, with one seventeen remaining in the second quarter. Looks like the Tigers are going to go in their traditional set. Doubles on both sides. Wide side is to the left. Ayala, give. And the give, the give is to Jimenez. Now Jimenez, with good Jimenez. pop. Jimenez. Very nice. Finds Looks like a seven-yard gain. Brawley at right now in the first quarter it's have a 7-0 lead over Colexio down in the north end. And the long two. Third and two, a big third and two, Coach. It, yes, right here it is. Oh, you betcha. Right, Just third down. You know what time it is. Make some noise for your defense. Third down. Third down and two. The Central Spartan crowd was just this alerted. This is one of those downs we call a gut check right gut here. Gut check, gut check. They've been here. They were here. They give right up. He he met, and the Spartan oh. line was waiting for that. Oh, he I mean, there's just so many. There's one, two, three, four Spartans around there. And as the clock winds down with uh, 19 seconds plus to go, I think they'll, they're will they going to give me enough breaks so they get in punting formation, and they'll have enough time to call it. So right after this is down, we're going to go to a couple messages, and we'll be right back with Ron Rubio and Coach Swearingen. That's the end of the first quarter. Grosso's, an Imperial Valley tradition since 1955. Family owned and operated. Located at 1902 West Main Street, El Centro. 
Grosso's is open Wednesday through Sunday at 5 p.m. Order to go or come in for the Italian dining experience. You might hurt yourself to sit down and relax. <laughs> go. Back to Joe, Cal Jones, Phil, set to kick is Joel Robles. Robles with a nice booming kick. Look Boy, at that. look at that. They had to run back and he touched it. Can they get there? There is number 12. And he's getting around the right end. Oh, Whoa. and nice. that's Sonny Beltran. That Woo. kid has every, I mean, if you look at a special team player in the yep. dictionary, you're going to be a pitcher, Sonny Beltran. The kid went, hustled, yes. missed the tackle, got up, fell down, and made the tackle And right laid a stick on it. Laid a stick. I tell you what, you get up from those, you need directions back to the huddle. <laughs> Brewery irrigation. Thank you, South Cali Air Conditioning. Marianne Valenzuela Finley, State Farm Insurance. Marianne is your State Farm Insurance agent in Imperial Valley. Like a good neighbor, she's always located at 122 Main Street in Brawley. Give her a call at 7 So here we go. The Spartans now taking over at the 34 yard line to give it up to Viesca. Viesca. Viesca with the gain of maybe two. Second down and eight balls at the 35. Short gain on the play there. I mean, most people here already know it, but kind of uh, late. We're, we're, we're in the middle of November, and we're still a little bit, we're at 90 degrees, a little bit warm up here. Yeah, I feel a bit moist around the neck right now. Yeah. yeah it's definitely not a, a windbreaker or jacket naive. Yeah. Well, I got news for you, though. Next week it's going to drop, so we will really? be wearing a little bit of windbreakers. Yeah. You know, your traditional bell game game day, you know? So nice and chilly. VSN windbreaker. There you yes. go. Yes. Do we have them? Here we go. Trips to the left. That's number 19. That's oh, block oh, in the God. back. That was, it's a that's block a, in the back. That's going to be in front of everybody right there. That's an easy Josh call Josh Garcia make. on the catch. For an illegal block. Letterman and Bros is a production and retailer of custom and Letterman jackets, serving the Imperial Valley for over 20 years. Its primary focus on is on varsity Letterman jackets embroidery. Give Daniel a call at 760-693-5034. Grossos cannot forget an Imperial Valley tradition since 1955. Family owned and operated located at 1902 West Main Street in El Centro. Order to go or come in for that a fine Italian dining experience. Thank you very much to Intercare. When it comes to healthcare, Intercare is here to help. With locations throughout Imperial Valley, Intercare improving the health and wellness of our community. And a special thank you for what they've done for the Girls Flag Football League. Great job, Intercare. Oh, oh. a mob. And that's, yep. you know, just. Fall on it. You know what? Let's he he was really smart play there. Looked like he took his eyes off the snap. He was already looking up where that receiver was, it seemed like. His but head came up. You saw that, Coach? Yes. That, yes. Yeah, that's natural. You're on fire. The kid yep. been, had a good rhythm last drive. Right. Hey, guys. I said, why not? I'm sorry to interrupt. But Listen, third and very long, right? Where did this start with special teams? That booming punt, guys. Oh. Now, now look at the little things that are happening now. You're talking that if they don't make it right here, they're going to have to punt, and Imperial's going to get good field position. Hey, man is looking to his right. He's rolling right, and there is Ethan Reeves, Woo! number nine. Ethan Reeves with a big defensive play in all the way back to the six-yard line. Boy, I tell you, Nathan Reeves brought the wood with that sure one. I'll tell you what, that's going to make little sister real happy. Whoa. Back to that booming kick. You know, what a sure, great it, play. it was a great punt. But on that return, he might have outkicked out his coverage. Yes. The coverage was kind of slow. But as I said, Beltran, here's the deal with making big plays. That play right there probably won't be noticed, but it was a big play, man. Yes. Because he, I mean, if you see the effort on that play, the kid fell down, got back up, made a tackle. Now you have Central punting from the end zone. Okay. Well, take away the block punt now and look where we'd be at. Where would we be at if you take away that block punt? There's but always, that's part yes. of the game. Would have, could have, should have, and almost... You're going to let that bounce? And oh, they do. Oh, and it, takes a, it got an Imperial bounce. It got Imperial bounce. Perfect at the 33-yard line where where they will take over. Hey, look, it's early in the ball game. I get it. This is a must score. They, you, look, you're getting great field position. You're going to be – ball's going to be on the 33-yard line. Look, you got to send a message that we're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. Well, you know, on their last drive, Imperial had their third possession. They had four plays total, two runs, two pass, and a punt, Coach. Yep. 
One first down. They did get one first down, but now they're sitting pretty with that with that punt. Oh yeah, they're in great in. shape. You have to cash in. Yes. Short distance, real short distance of real estate to to make a score. Whether it's going to be three points or six points, I feel it. Yeah, exactly. Need to do something. Great, great point, Will. Because at this point, all you need is a first down, and you're you're in uh, field goal range. Yeah, Ayala looking to set up the screen. It's set up. There's Jimenez. He met it, and we're going to get a flag. And I can already tell you what it's going to be. What is it? That pass was beyond the line of scrimmage, so we're going to get an illegal man downfield. Yep. Now yep. that's my guess, but. I, I'm just well. There's two of them, so so, and that's the way it should be. If it, if it's illegal man downfield, there should be two flags. And that that's a penalty that haunted them last week. Yes, I think yes. they got two of those. No, get two or three of them. You're two right. Or three. You're right. That, you know, we, we so didn't. what they're going to do? Then I'm going to try to explain this. Let's hear it. Let's. They want to know where that lineman was at when he caught the ball. If the ball was past the line of scrimmage, yeah, I think it was. He caught it above, uh, past yeah. the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Oh, he was, he was past the line for sure. Yep, there it is, the yeah. illegal receiver downfield. To call illegal man downfield. And listen, and like I said, if you see two flags on that, you got two Tigers. officials that are going over the play that are – that's just a sound call right there, Ron. Yeah, it was, and you know what? Yeah, two Let's guys get it right. Yeah. Let's get it right. And it was there. Yeah. So we got two penalties. We have – Yeah, they're taking, they're taking the block below the waist. The and what was called was an illegal – Behind, That's the, the one they took. The waist, Ooh, oh, and okay. 15-yarder. Yeah, okay. Is it? Well, I didn't see what the other penalty oh, was. I thought both of them called the uh, illegal man no. downfield. But I, the second penalty obviously must carry more more yardage. It does. It yeah. does. Yeah, because it's a personal foul. Did he say blocking below the waist yes, or behind yes. the back? Okay, yeah. personal foul. And so even if he didn't have an illegal man downfield, they would have been called back. So here we go. That's where the yeah. Tigers will take over at the 42. Ayala rolling to his right. Ayala shoots it to the sideline. That's complete. Passes That's complete nice. to number 10. That's very Godzilla. nice. There we go. The deal of big players making plays, those are the kind of plays you got to make. You just got penalized. You lost 15 yards. You come back, yeah. get some of it back. No, it's a big drive that, right here. It's a big drive because, number one, you started at the 32. You have to, we said earlier, cash in, get something out of this. Yes. And why not? You, got, you have the boot there. You know what I like? Ayala's on target tonight. Ro yeah, 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 yeah. He, he looks better than he did. Big you know learning I, experience last week. I like the fact that Imperial's huddling. I, I, I love it. Well, look at the clock. 8.26 remains. Oh, they gave it to Jimenez. Nice. Jimenez off the left. Okay, and he's, he's opening up. The line is opening up some holes. Something we expected them to do all season. Is this the game where they start doing that? Well, let's see. The ball's at the 24-yard line. I'm sorry, 26-yard line. They have a third down and five. This is a big, big third down. Big third down. Again. Again. Once again, penalties, as we look back a little bit, those those penalties, I mean, it's costing the Imperial Tigers first downs. I'm not saying it's costing them the games, but it is But it makes them it harder on them. When they jumped off sides, they had that less than a yard. Yeah, we're going to go back to that because that led to that block punt, Coach. Yes. What's going to be interesting, if yes. they don't make the first down, what do you do? you got role play. they got to go for it. They okay. don't make it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with Coach on made. that one. I'm, I'm with Coach. Thank Ayala. Slam it! Oh. Draw pass by number four, Jaden Wilson. Wilson into the hands of Nehemiah Perez, man. Perez with the scoop and score. Perez with the pick now. And he's the leading interception guy for the Spartans. Now, man, oh, man. Ron, it looked like a first down to me if that ball would have been good. caught. Oh, yes. Right. Got to make those plays. It's not Matt. a touchdown. Yeah. Drop passes will haunt you. Penalties. The drop, drop passes, passes right now. are basically a turnover. Well, look, this is where Ethan Reeves and company comes through yeah, again. You, now you've you got to suck it up. Here we go. We're only down by seven. And we have... A timeout. The Tigers, will call a timeout. the Tigers will call a timeout. So as the Tigers call a timeout, we will take a break, listen to some of our sponsors, and we'll be right back after this.
the Dom team. For all your real estate needs, give Doug or Andrew a call at 760-337-8600. The Dom family has been in the Valley since 1908. For business, residential, and farmland real estate, it's the Dom team. So here we go. Off that incomplete or that interception through the hands of number four, we now have the Spartans with the first and 10 at their 24-yard line. Jimenez looks, he swings it out, complete to Viesca. Viesca at the 20, 25. He's at the 30, he's at the 40. Viesca on that nice little swing pass. Down to the score of update in Brawley, BUHS 14, Colexico 0 in the second quarter. So off that first possession, Coach, a nice little swing. Jimenez to Viesca. There's a play that's, a, that's basically a swing pass, long handoff. Long handoff. Great blocking by the wide receivers, and look what it turned into. So now, getting near the halfway point of the second quarter. Slow motion by, and here comes Viesca again. Viesca looked through the middle, knows nothing there. He's going to bounce it out to the left. I'm going to give him six and a half, second down and, we'll say four, second down and four. So here comes that little rhythm again, Coach. Yes, get a first yes, down. Yes. No huddle. Let's go. Let's get it going on. Boy, this has been a fast game. There's only 6.31 left in this first half. Ooh, he menaced. He menaced now, and he looks like he's going to get a face oh. match. Number 55 with the great play, but however, that's Danny Esquivez, and Esquivez may it have grabbed like the max. Face mask call. We'll wait for their officials. That's a face mask call against the Tigers. Ivy Welding and Mechanical, industrial welding contractor serving the geothermal and all industrial facets facilities in well, Imperial Valley. It's a five or a 15 here. Ivy Welding is a proud sponsor of Valley Sports Network. Give Fred a call, 760-483-WELD, W-E-L-D. As we take a look at Mr. J.J. Jackson to get a call out in the field, it's going to be with me. And it, it's going to be a five-yard penalty. Five-yarder. But it's enough to give him a first down. Burgers and beer for the best burgers in town. If you can't make it to the game, come watch VSN's Game of the Week at Burgers and Beer, located at 260 North Imperial Avenue in El Centro. Back to the action with Ron Rubio and Coach Swearing. If that game's on at Burgers and Beer, here's Viesca up the middle. Viesca wow. up to the 40. The quick hitter that's working right now. You know, Second down and seven. Three, I'm sorry. for people who are watching, watch Second Viesca's four. feet. Oh, man. He hits the hole. He does not accelerate. He stutter steps with his feet, keeps them moving. All of a sudden, that opens up, and boom. He threw it. I'll tell he you what. He threw it quick, and you know, uh, it's kind of funny because against against uh, Granite Hills, Viesca. Here we go with the swing pass to Viesca. That was the first he play of the series. Time. Again, he gets yes. a little gets time He's out there. I'll tell you what. I, I as good as Viesca's looks. I'll tell you what. Look at number seventy-four. I think it's uh, Jesse. Uh, I just had him down right now. Jesse Blackburn. He was just pancaking people. No, over yes, there. I was about. That's why I was writing down the number of the offensive line <laughs> yeah. right now. No, and uh, left tackle number seventy-nine. That's Leo Camarena. Yes, we got seventy-seven. We'll get his names right now. They need to be mentioned because the this offense doesn't run if this offensive line doesn't block. The power set. Blocking right. Yeah, they're Central just jamming it up right set. now. First time I've seen this tonight, and yes. it's a wildcat. We saw that a lot last year with who? Charlie Sullivan. And I'll tell you what, as soon as we start talking about the line, they start jumping off sides. Yeah, isn't that something? <laughs> yeah, that's 77 is Alexander Sandoval for the Central Spartans. And I'll tell you yeah. what, man, I, that, that, that offensive line coach, not too happy. Nope. Alexander Lopez, 77. You also have number 74, we'll mention. Jesse Blackburn, Jesse Blackburn out there along with number 64. Let's go with Russ Butler. Russ Butler is my do great you, nephew. Oh, Russ Butler. Yes. So do we have a timeout? Yes, we have a timeout. And we'll come right back after this. Imperial Flying Service, taking care of of the entire Imperial Valley with all your aviation fuel needs. Imperial Flying Service is a proud supporter of our U.S. military, the aviation community, and all Imperial Valley communities.
Our deal is amazing. Back to Cal Jonesville with 5.02 remaining. Where the score is, Spartan 7, Tigers 0. You know, the, the, Coach, the, the last interception, in all honesty, Ayala put the ball on the money, right, right. went off of the receiver's hands. Yeah, that was a big that was a big play. It should have been a completed pass. Yes, so should, that pick, yes. you can't lay it on that quarterback. No, Dylan. no, not, not that one. So as we come back, resume play with the third down. Big third down, four. But no doubt, I would say two uh, oh, yeah, four this, down territory. Oh, yeah, this is, You're this, not going to punt. No, you have no, no. 502 remaining. This You're moving the ball. That's the Spartans. Vieska in the backfield. Jimenez is having a solid game. He's trying to roll. Good pressure. Protection. Pressured by Reeves. Stays in the oh, pocket. Man. Artie Estrada. Estrada to the five. Touchdown, Spartans. Touchdown, Spartans. That play starts with the effort by the quarterback. Yes. I mean, he didn't give up. Boom. He almost got sacked by Reeves. We got to make the tackle. Estrada finds him open. Touchdown. But great effort after the catch. Unbelievable. So that strikes quick with 4.51 remaining. This is off the interception. This is the possession off, off the interception. Off of an interception that, if completed, might have scored. Sure. Jalen, what do you think about that? Well, Ron, if mental miscues for Imperial here, they've had this They've been close this whole entire game, but mm -hmm. it's just the block punt, the interception. Now this big uh, touchdown reception, 43 yards. You know they're just shooting themselves in the foot, but they're being they're competitive. They're being competitive, and w one thing that I, as we're looking at the clock, and coach said, I thought time of possession was going to be huge tonight for the Tigers because look, you want to keep this offense off the field, and you know they were hanging in, hanging in, but like you said, man, you keep shooting yourself in the foot. They, you know, it, it, to Imperial right now, it's like their snake bit. And, yeah, what, and what they've got to get past is. Yeah, just get over it. Let's, yes, because when they get down in the red zone, all of a sudden it's in their mind what's going to happen to us now. So Vega set to kick. Keep it up. And it is good. So with 451 remaining in the first half, we have Central Sparks 14, Imperial Tiger 0, CRNR Incorporated. With recycling, recycling now more important than ever, CRNR Incorporated has developed innovative recycling and reuse programs. CRNR Incorporated, the face of a greener generation. Havens Landscaping. Havens and Sun Trucking is located at 603 East Main in El Centro, specializing in gravel, rock, and stone for all your landscaping material needs. Give them a call at 760 352 6735. Reach Medical Response Service. Donnie Warren reminds you that when seconds count, you can depend on Reach Medical Transport Service. So what counts right now with 4.51 remaining is Tigers got to get a score. Yes. I mean, they, they got to get on the board or something. Get, going, to, going to halftime with a little bit of uh, comfort or not some momentum of some sort because you're playing a good game, as Jalen said. There's nothing wrong with it, but you got to eliminate these mistakes. I'll tell you what, Ronnie, I, this game's closer than I thought it was yeah, going to be sure at this is. point. It sure is. I'll be honest, it is. And there is a good return. That is Jaden Wilson, who had to drop pass. Wilson, with a lot of effort, gets the ball up to maybe the 25, 24-yard line. Yep. A hello out there to Cody and his family, to Nana Z, and to Kenny and Mason Williams. They're all tuned in tonight. Tiger fans, no doubt. 24-yard line. You know, I agree with what Jalen said over here. It's, it's like with Imperial that they've moved the ball. Mm -hmm. They've done things correctly. But all of a sudden, that snake bites them again. They've got to get past that. Well, it was a six-play drive for Central. Three pass, two runs. Three and three. Oh, three and three. Yeah, three and three. Yep. And with that great effort by Estrada, I mean, that was pure effort on the quarterback and the receiver. Ayala looks right left. He shoots it out. Ayala. Yep. That's Wilson, number four. Wilson, as we said earlier, got to get the ball in Wilson's hands. And, and 24, we haven't called 24's number. 4.33 to go. Jared Nixon chomping at the bit. When will they call his number? You know, Ronnie, the most important thing for Imperial right now is they got the ball a little over four minutes to go. Right. They need to sustain a drive, give points on the board, but do not give Central another chance to score mm -hmm. right before half. No, don't give no, them good go. field position. And, and a great point because that's what hurt them last week versus Brawley. Yes. They were down. They were down in their own territory. They threw an interception. Let's see what they have at second down and six. 
Ayala, that's Jimenez. Jimenez running to the left side. Maybe a gain of two. It's going to be another big third down and three, coach. They have been facing crucial third yeah. downs all night. And it looks like they didn't get too much on that. They haven't moved the yard marker. That's a cool thing about that digital thing. <laughs> Yeah. Your eyes really catch it. Oh, I tell you what, I love that down marker. Yeah, for sure. Blind as I am, I can see that. Third down and a long two. We'll say a long two. They're saying three up here, 329 remaining. Interesting call. Yes, it's they, a biggie. It's a biggie. Ayala trying to draw them off. Uh, no, they're going to call a timeout. Call a time. Second timeout for Imperial. And we'll be right back. Inner care since 1970. When it comes to health care, Inner care is here to help with locations throughout the Imperial Valley. Inner care, improving the health and wellness of the community. Whether you're looking to purchase or sell, your next home awaits. Give the Dom team a call. With over 50 years of experience and over 100 years in the Imperial Valley, Andy and Doug can help you find the right home at the right price fast. Visit us online at www.thedomteam.com and let Andrew and Doug find the perfect home for you. Call today, 760-337-8600. Back to Cal Jones Fields. And as I said earlier, my guest next to me, like a little brother to me, Jalen Fong. Forgot to introduce him, but Jalen just come up. He's, he's our he's VSM family. Jalen, it was nice having you up here for a quick chat. Check him out on KYMA. I appreciate it, Ryan. Right on, man. Good, Good seeing you. Good seeing you again as we go back down to the action with 311 remaining. Big, 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 third, big third, and two. third and two. Well, I'll say three, but it's going, it is three on the scoreboard. All right. Ayala looking. Ayala gives it kind of a sweep to the outside. No gain on the play. No. Little jet sweep action. I'm trying to see the number. Number 13 of the Tigers. That is Alfredo Dorame. All a, right. I'll tell you what, Ron. It's always a pleasure to have Ron Jalen Jalen Fong up here. Great insight on everything. that. Jalen just has a mind that picks up things that, you know, you don't see. Yeah. Every time when he comes up during the podcast, we're just sitting around watching a ball game. Jalen has that eye, see something that we don't see. So here we go. With 235 remaining, the, unable to get a first down on that. Now you're setting up your Howell Robles. Robles now, intentional a kick or not, maybe to avoid a block, but he gets a good little roll, and it's going to bounce up to the 36-yard line. So on that drive for the Tigers, which was their fifth now, of the night. This is going to be interesting. Was there a flag? No, what happened was the Central Spartan touched the ball, oh. right? He touched the ball, then he walked away from it. Uh oh yeah, Without killing the clock. I mean, they no, didn't call the play dead. No. I didn't see that. No, they didn't call the play dead, so that took. Well, here we go, a give, Coach. Here's oh, a man. give. Whoa, Just speaking whoa. of gives, I'm not going to even say whoa, it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you. You know what? Cannot go without saying thank you to the whole staff down there at the snack bar, starting with. Selena, I mean, we are so, thank you very much. This thank is awesome, man. Really appreciate it. Thank everybody down there for us. So another gift right oh now for the, for the Tigers. Let Billy know how good they take care of us up here. We don't. <laughs> 218 remaining. The, the Tigers now outside the 35. There's, let's call it the 37. Ayala looking to his right. He's going to throw to his left down the sideline. Overthrown, overthrown, intended for Nixon. So second and ten, eight. They went. They wanted to see what Nixon could do. Covered on the play well by was number five of the Spartans. That is Emiliano Morales. Morales. I think he's the little brother of Fernando Morales. I'll tell you what. We got a special guest at halftime coming in, and uh, Sandy New Jim's going to be with us. There's. I'll tell you what, for a person that retired, Ronnie. She sure got, doesn't seem like she it. I see her everywhere. Like she retired, but there's some good stuff going on with her. She's, of course, it's everybody's busy time, so we'll get with her at halftime. 
Second down and 10 for Ayala and the Tigers. Ayala, look, fakes. He's going to roll to his left. He fakes, pumps. Going to go get outside. Maybe a gain of three. Maybe at the 35. Sure. Maybe. He doesn't even get to the 35. Gain about a yard on the play. A yard on the play, making a third down and nine. Have to get some more yards for the kicker. If you're not going to get six, let's get, they're trying to get away with something. Clock ticking at. Whoa, he runs out of bounds, so the clock stops. Right. So off the turnover on the punt, Tigers so far have just managed to generate one yard on this drive, 39. And I tell you, they've got a field goal kicker. They sure do, trips to the right. Ty uh, Spartans looking to show some pressure, and why not? Throws out to the outside, complete oh. to Goxiola. And they're gonna say it's a catch. Ruled great, the catch. great job of the receiver coming back. Coming back, saw his quarterback was pressured and bringing the pressure hot and heavy was Jose L. Rodriguez. If you were watching in the audience out there, that receiver was deep yes, and came deep, back came to bail back. his quarterback out. So a fourth down and two and a half, fourth down and two, 136 remaining. How many timeouts do the Tigers have? They have one left. One left. Clock stops because it was out of bounds. But what are they doing here? They're going to mail it's fourth down. It was not a first down. I'm sorry. No, it's fourth yeah, down. Yeah, fourth and two. I don't know what I was thinking. Now they're going to talk it. Fourth down and. Ojeda what? Industries. Tony and Patricia Ojeda <laughs> serving the Imperial Valley for all your industrial and agricultural needs, such as hydraulic service repair, located in Brawley at 1698 Jones Street. La Fonda Bar and Grill. Experience the vibrant flavors of Mexico at La Fonda Bar and Grill, sizzling carne asada to mouthwatering enchiladas, located at 1950 South 4th Street in El Centro. Timeout. Imperial Time out. Flying Service, taking care of the entire Imperial Valley with all your aviation fuel needs. Proud sponsor of our U.S. military and Imperial Valley communities. Imperial County Public Health Department. The mission of Imperial County Public Health Department is to promote, protect, and support the health of people and the environment and our communities. El Central Police Department. Chief Sawyer, dedicated to serve our community through partnerships, professionalism, on compromising excellence, quality of life. They're going. They're going for sure, for sure, for sure. Service is their commitment. Back to action with Coach Swearingen and Ron Rubio. 142 remaining at Cal Jones Field. Fourth down and two. Big play. It's a fourth and two. Ayala yelling instructions out to Gaxiola. Press coverage down here to the right, if you can see that. Jimenez, single back, bunch set to the left. Ayala fakes. He's looking. He's pressured. He throws it up for grabs. And oh. no. And there's a flag on the field. So 54 brought the pressure, brought it hard, hot and heavy. And he may have roughed up the quarterback. That was Malachi O'Connor. Big, Big call Big here, Ronnie. Big um, call up here on this. Let's see. I, Malachi yeah, O'Connor. Roughing the passer. So here's a give. You got the muff punt. Who would have known somebody would touch the ball and leave? Yep. And then now on the fourth and two, you throw it incomplete, but guess what? It's okay. Yeah. You got roughed up. Yes. 15-yarder. Yeah, Ron. But And, and look, it's 14-0. They're not looking at the 21-0 at, at this same no. time period as they were last week. That's a deal. They get, they get some points on the board right now. You know, Central does get the choice of getting the ball in the second half, so... Who gets the ball? Well, Central will have the choice. So, I mean, I'm sure they'll take the ball. Because they, they, got one timeout left, Will. A one? One. No, they have none. They've yeah, used because theirs. That, that, that's right. They used theirs. Okay. On that fourth down, coach. Right, right. They have none. I was just going to double check I'm it. So that, that may take away. That takes away the run. Now unless then, they're going to hurry up. The ball. So now yep. you're going to have trips to the wide yes. side, which would be the left of Ayala. Low receiver to the right is Gaxiola. That's number 10. So you want to look for number 24, Nixon. You want to see where Jaden, where's Jaden at? Number four of the Tigers. That is and the game. Jimenez now with that quick hitter. And Jimenez with driving. He's Woo! driving. What an effort. Drives it up to the six. 
And why not? You have time. Reset. It's on. 119 and running. Here's a formation. Well, that split back set they came out with, Coach, was working, was effective. Yes. And now then. Well, so now the ball's outside the five. They're at the six. 106 remaining. They've got to go. They've got to go. 102. They have no the timeouts. The clock is their enemy. Right now it is. Again, trip to the left. Got Shiller down right. He's going to shoot it out into the corner. And it's a incomplete. Knocked out. Clean play, good throw, could only place it where the only his receiver could catch it. That's Nixon. Hey, the defender was there. Yes. Great effort, great effort, good play. It was with an all-around good play. All around, man. He put it to the quarterback, put it where only the receiver had a chance, but not bad coverage. The coverage was good. And the big thing is stop the clock. Stop the clock. And what down do we have now? Third. It's third. It's going to be. Do you dare run? Oh, wow. What happened here? A penalty? I didn't even see. I, didn't. I did not see. Well, there's a penalty. Backs them up. Well, what's happening? A 10-yarder. No, they're using clear flags for this game, so that's why we're missing them. I know that's a joke. I'm not even going to answer it right now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not seeing them. That's why I, I yeah. Okay, I mean, so we have third down. No, what? Second down and 11. Okay, yeah. Now we got because of the penalty, yeah. Second down. And down. honestly, not bad if you want to. Well, if you have to throw the ball, you have more room. So Ayala looks. He's shooting to the right, and it's picked. Picked off. Picked off and down the sideline. Alex Trejo. Trejo Man. and flags on the field. Maybe a late hit. Trejo picks Shake it off. Again. In the end zone. 41 seconds remaining. There's going to be a penalty. Did you catch what that was? Well, no doubt. When it's close to the sideline like that, Ron, and, and, and you see a little bit of action, a little Ooh. extra action, you're going to assume right away that it's going to be a, a personal foul, a late hit or something like that. And if it is, you're going to tack on 15 yards, and that will place the ball about, about around the 45-yard line, Ron. So with almost at midfield, you know, is uh, Coach Ricky Pena going to go for it still? I, I think he is. I don't you think have he's to. Gonna, yeah. I think he's he's got 15 yarder. He's got two timeouts left. Oh Ron. my Midfield. goodness! Where is the ball at? Oh, I thought I was looking at the back. Just oh my god! 40 so now they're line. at the 40 yard line. That's perfect. With 41 seconds and all his timeouts. Yeah, two timeouts. Ron. Two timeouts. So let's see what Jimenez and the Spartans can do. He has trips to the right. Jimenez rolls to his right. He's looking. He stops. Shoot to down, it's a pick! Jimenez, number seven to the 40, 30, 25. Out, out of bounds out with 30, 30 seconds left. And I don't know what's going on with all this chippiness, but they need to calm down and play football. Come on. That's simple. One play, pass, interception. Ron, if there's one thing I haven't asked, momentum. We don't even know where the momentum's it's, going. It's back and forth. It's, yeah, like it a, is. it's like pickleball or ping Amen. pong. No, Mo, you got it. You get it. I got it. Jeez. 30 seconds remaining. Now, here's the deal. It's not what you do with these. Tur it, it, okay, get a turnover. What do you do with it? Yeah. This I, I think red zone's been killer for both teams right now. Well, not so much the Spartans as the Tigers. But these Tigers are moving the ball, but they get inside that red zone, and they're not. They're coming away with no points. Do you realize what this score would be if they were capitalized? Go ahead. Tell me. You've, oh, uh, I'm not going to Oh, say. I thought you written it down because, yeah. No. It, it would be, they would have what, 21 points. If they scored on every one of them. And if my aunt had a mustache, she'd yeah. be my uncle. Hey, you betcha. He's rolling off to his left. Ayala, Ayala shoots it. It's complete. To who? 24, Nixon. So now the clock will. What's the story with that? First down, clock stops. He's out of bounds. What yeah. stops the They'll clock? go back to their mechanics, the old school mechanics. If the intention was for the either the runner or the passer to catch the ball and to go out of bounds, they will give them that clock. That's the way it yes. should be. As the fans start to get into it. First down at the 12 yard line. They're going to throw. They have to. And I'll tell you 22 what. 22 seconds. How many players do you want to squeeze in here, coach? Are you capable of squeezing yeah. out? This is one of the things why we added that clock, Ron. I think nice. it's key. Good to know. Good to know. You're going to have man coverage out here on this. Split. How about a slant? Pressure. Man coverage. Ayala looking. He's going to shoot it into the corner of the end zone. Touch. No. But there's a flag, Ron. Where? There's a flag. 
Unless he kicks something, but I, I, I'm, I'm thinking there's a flag. Where? In the corner of the end zone? I can tell by the way he's running back to the white hat, I have a flag out there. The motion man was not picked up. Oh, wow. Turned it up. I think Nobody. I, but he looked, he was already, he already Nobody. knew he was going to throw to. He was going to throw in that corner. So there's a penalty on the play. Not sure what it is. Pass interference against the Central Spartans. Half the distance, so, five. So 16 and another, another, Seven. another. So let me ask you guys both the same question. Give me a quick answer. Do you have time to run the ball? No. No. Okay. I, I don't think so no. because what's going to happen down closer and goal line on defense, no. it's just going to be a big old cluster. Yes. And by the time bodies pile off, forget you, it. Can you get two quick pass plays? I would yes. think oh, so, for right? Sure. Yes. I'll tell you, that motion, man, nobody picked him up. 16 seconds Boy, remaining. he was as open as a door. Wow. Little instructions there to number one. That's Brandon Felix. Been kind of quiet, Brandon Felix. And now what's going on? Central. Time out by the Spartans. Call. Yep. Whoa. Now they only have one. They have one left now. Imperial Valley College, founded in 1962. Proud sponsor of BSN's live stream for all Imperial Valley high schools. And that's a big thank you to that whole community and the direction Central of Dr. School. Johnson. Really appreciate everything that they've done for VSN and the community. Excellence in education for over 60 years. Cannot forget Driscoll serving the Imperial Valley since 1979. They take great pride in the years of experience and quality of custom silk screen embroidery and letterman's jackets. Stop by their location at 1470 West State Street in El Centro. South Cali Air, number one York dealer in Imperial wait, Valley. Wait. Contact, them, contact them today for all your AC and heating needs. RV and Towing, local owner, Joel Gonzalez mm. and family wish Valley teams a successful school year. Services include 24-hour towing, on and off-road recovery. Contact them at 344-9200. Can't forget Casbro's. Visit their design shop where they offer trophy awards, custom t-shirts and embroidery, oh, signs and banners. Located in Brawley, give Troy Casson a call at 760-550-6878. Back to action with the call, Ron Rubio and Coach Swearingen. 16 seconds remaining, first down and goal. Is it first and goal or first down? No, it's first down. First down, they called a timeout, so. Okay, a timeout by the Spartans. Now Ayala, empty backfield. Ayala looks to his left. He's just looking straight at him and. Well, that took six seconds off the clock, so. He's and, locking on right now who he's going to throw to. Yeah, I mean, he just, he just he, as soon as he gets the ball, he's looking to his, yes. he's looking to uh, Nixon. He just locks Nixon on Nixon's him. Nixon's walking back to the huddle a little bit slow, maybe tired. Coach, Second I tell you, out. a slant, a cross, a cross pass, slant, and then cross out underneath it. Those are the hardest things to defend yes. deep, uh, down there in this territory because as a DB, man, you're going to follow that guy. If yeah. you're, I mean, you're in man coverage, combat, whatever you want to yeah. call it. He's not He's not even looking to this trip side. Ten seconds remaining. We now have a second down and five. They still could get a first down, but that's meaningless at this point. Spartans showing a rush again, fighting for position. <laughs> Same thing. So now they battle. They're letting them battle for that play. God. Yeah, and, and I'm I mean, going to tell you, I'll be, I'm going to be up front. With the way he has thrown the ball, it's a defensive back's Christmas because sure. he's looking right now at where he's going to throw. Right now. So I'm now, sorry. I, I, I'm going to call it, it like I see it. He just locks on him. Joel Robles set to kick. And looks like Coach Rookie Pinion is going to. Ayala set to hold. Going to freeze him. Gonna, what, what's, the, what's the term? Central. Ice him a little bit maybe. And you know what? You can't, take, can't use him in the second half. So Keystone HR Employer Services for real business solutions that make economic sense. Call them for a free business evaluation at 760-427-2878. Listen, if you want a little bit of help in the tire industry, there's nobody better to call than JJ's Tire. 24-hour road service comes in new tire sales and service. Located at 199 Main Street in Westmoreland. Give JJ a call at 
3109. That's in Westmoreland, right? Or, yeah, that's right JJ, right yeah. On? Cannot forget the lovely girls at Heart Insurance, your full service agency offering customized protection throughout California and Arizona. Got that number memorized at 344-1400, Heart Insurance. Joel Robles set to put the Tigers on the scoreboard. Can he do it with Ayala holding? He's got Nixon. a leg. Felix is the snapper. It's good, it's set down, and that is going to be good. Yes. So the Tigers come across with something with five seconds remaining. Spartans 14, Tigers three. Johnny's Burritos, thank you for being a part of our community. We look forward to serving you and your family for many years to come. As I said earlier, our halftime guest is gonna be Sandy Nugent. There's a lot of exciting things she's got going on, and I'll tell you what, it's it's. I don't even think we'll be, we could use all the time up here to all the things she does for our community. You know, it started with education. She's a COPA grad. I actually found that out last year. I thought she was always a El Centro Imperial Valley native, but she's a COPA grad, she was telling us. Uh, she serves a lot of committees. One of them this year is new to her, being on the board at Central. And there's real there's some big, exciting things that she's been doing with the CIF. So uh, we're, we plan to get to that as, as we look See what Central can do with 5.5 seconds left on the clock. Back to Ron and Coach. Been a very interesting last four minutes, Coach. Yes, it you know, is. So, you know, there's that window that people like to talk about, the last four minutes of the second quarter, yep. going into the first four minutes of the third. What can you do just real. in those eight-minute block, yeah. man? Oh, yeah. And just think, Coach, if, if mm. Imperials scores on the two out of, two out right, of the right, times right. they were in the red zone. But here's My the deal God. for Imperial. You have to be confident. You're not, you're not, you're in this ball game. And here's a little drive by Jimenez. If they get that, the clock should wind down to zero. And that's Estrada. You better get him. Estrada. He's finally down. No finally time down left. at the 20. So we will end the first half with the, El Cent the Central Spartans 14, Imperial Tigers 3. So with that said, we'll be right back after this. Lee Tire Company. We are a local, family-owned business specializing in tires and automotive needs. We are located at 114 Main Street, El Centro. Call us at Back to Cal Jones Field. And right before we thought we were going to go to halftime, off that kickoff by Robles, there was an unsportsmanlike conduct. Cannot end the half on a defensive penalty. That's right. So now the Spartans will take over at their 35, 36 yard line. Yep. One untimed down. Is that what you would say? That's or what you have. Untimed down. An untimed down. Yep. Last play. This will shut it out. Prevent by the Tigers. You have number four. That's Wilson. I'm not sh too sure. And number one, Felix. Brandon Felix out there and Jaden Wilson, your deep safeties. And they're going to be set as they bring out the Spartan offense. Will Central go downtown and try to score something they, big, or are they just going to tuck it under and let's go 14-3 into well, halftime? They, they, They're going to go, man. They, they can, what they got to lose? And here we go, a little quick out to oh. number 19, complete! And tackled by number right. 55, so a great play. Intended for, uh, caught by Joshua Garcia. Great tackle by number 55 of the Tigers. That is, that will end it for Danny Esquivez as he makes the tackle. We will end it now. With the Spartans 14 and Pearl Tigers 3. And with that, we will be seeing you at the start of the third quarter. Marianne Valenzuela Fenley is your State Farm Insurance agent in the Imperial Valley. And like a good neighbor, she's located at 528 G Street in Brawley. 
Call State Farm Agent Marianne Valenzuela Fenley at 760-344-0447 for your home, auto, and life insurance. At Burgers and Beer, our customers are like family. Let's hear what a few of them have to say about us. We're here at Burgers and Beer with the best burgers in town. We get to sit together and enjoy the great food. I like from Burgers and Beer is in the lemonade. For the fresh iced tea, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's wonderful, very fast, very efficient. I love the great food and family environment. I love the burgers and the customer service. So come and see us and find out for yourself at Burgers and Beer. Ojeda Industries is here to offer solutions with exceptional products and services for all your agricultural, industrial, and power transmission needs. It's Ojeda Industries, hydraulic repair service in Brawley at 1698 Jones Street. Call us at 760-623-7299. Join us at Cal Jones Field for the next Bell Game, Friday, October 27th at 7 p.m. South Cali Air Conditioning, proud sponsor of Central Union High School Athletics. Day in and day out, your publicly owned Imperial Irrigation District proudly delivers low-cost, reliable energy service to its customers in the Imperial and Coachella Valleys. When compared to other power providers, IID's residential, commercial, and governmental customers all save up to 50% on their monthly energy bills. That's because IID is committed to more than just delivering power. IID is committed to you. IID, where customers always come first. Casbros, it's that time of year again. Team shirt options are available and ready to go out for adult, youth, and toddler sizes. Call us and let us know how we can help at 760-550-6878. Letterman and Bros, keeping up with the all-American high school tradition, athletics and academics. 20 years of experience serving the whole Imperial Valley. We just moved, so there's millions of people. Dahlia's in bloom, over nine acres. When we started, we grew a quarter of an acre. Now I'm taking on new products on the right. We always dreamed of having this property, so. I want to make my yard look as beautiful as largemouth bass. Yep. We've got tons of them, don't we, buddy? There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Visit us online at rdoequipment.com or contact your local RDO for in-stock availability. The Brawley Police Foundation is an independent, nonprofit organization that provides grant funding and crucial resources to the Brawley Police Department with programs that would normally not be funded. These programs directly improve public safety and enhance the quality of life for our citizens. Could you use help with your electric bill? Imperial Irrigation District, your public power provider, offers several payment assistance programs. Our income qualified customers can save up to 20 or 30 percent on their electric bill and also receive assistance if they face service disconnection for non-payment. For assistance, call us at 1-800-303-7756, visit one of our customer service centers, or find us online at iid.com. IID, where customers always come first. Imperial Valley College is the number one community college in the nation. Winner of the 2023 Aspen Prize for Community College Excellence. Varsity Made Letterman Jackets. Save time and money by ordering online today 
at varsitymade.co. We have created our own drink company. The fastest growing sports drink in history. We will fight! We will fight! Ladies and gentlemen, the rookie has prime! This season, we are hydrated! The official sports drink of the UFC! It's time! Oh, that's good. <laughs> Havens and Sons Trucking is located at 603 East Main Street in El Centro and is a business specialized in gravel, rock, stone, fill dirt, base, landscape rock, topsoil, sand, and all your hauling needs. El Distrito de Irrigación de Imperial, su proveedor de energía pública, ofrece varios programas de asistencia de pago. Nuestros clientes con ingresos que califiquen pueden ahorrar entre un 20 o 30% en su factura de electricidad y también recibir ayuda si enfrentan desconexiones por falta de pago. Para recibir ayuda, llámenos al 1-800-303-7756. Visite uno de nuestros centros de servicio al cliente o visite iid.com. IID, donde los clientes siempre son primero. Radfin is a unique lifestyle clothing brand geared towards the avid angler and outdoorsman. We manufacture our hats, tees, and performance shirts out of El Centro, California. Shop Radfin online at www.radfin.net. Welcome back everyone, I'm Will Torres. We are at halftime right now as we take a look at the score, 14 to three, a back and forth game. Special person here, special guest with BSN, Sandy Newgym. We've been waiting to get you on here for, I would say a couple of weeks here. Great to have you finally up here, Sandy. Thanks Will, it's so nice to be here. Central's homecoming, it's homecoming for me as well because I used to be in this score box. Oh my gosh, since 2020 when I retired, it's the first time back up here, so it's kind of like a homecoming for me as well. Well, as you know, you used to walk these grounds. You and Emma Jones used to walk these. I'd always see you in the corner with your chair sitting over there. So it's uh, kind of glad you're up here. You get to see what VSN gets to do a little bit. You see a little behind the scenes and stuff. So appreciate that. Right. It's nice to be back. And you mentioned Emma Jones. I, I would not be here without her guidance and her mentorship that she gave me over the years. She was actually one of the first individuals that I met when I came for my job interview here. In, um, it was on a Friday the 13th. Uh, in, in 88. So, uh, you know, Emma Jones, I know you're out there watching because you support athletics here in the Valley and especially the Central Spartans. So, how you doing there, Emma? I hope you're staying warm in Salt Lake City. Well, rumor has it she's coming. She's going to make it to your introduction, something we're going to talk about right now. Okay. So, uh, without further ado, Sandy, as we, you and I talked, and I go, I, when I approached you, I go, look, Sandy, I want to get you on. I want to talk a little bit about the position that she got at the state level in the CIF. So then we, we would stay in contact every two weeks. Hey, you know what's going on? We were trying to set the date. Well, I just want to inform you folks that every time I spoke to her every two weeks, we have a little, we have a person, a good friend of ours, Billy Brewer, that would pass along information. By the time the Imperial game, when you were supposed to come up here, yes. you're profile has gained so much acknowledgement and that's something to be very proud of you know you started we mentioned earlier you're you're a copa grad yes. and then you came down to central and you were an educator here yes and then uh, when did you become athletic director here you know i was assistant athletic de director under steve evangelist we had a, a a time where we had a district athletic director i don't know if you remember that well we had um, i was here at central and craig lyon actually the principal now at, at central was at southwest so we were on-site athletic directors under uh, Stevie Vanges, the district athletic director. I believe that was, um, it was in 03, so it was in 2003, did that for a few years, 
and then became the regular athletic director in uh, 2011. So when we just dissolved that district athletic director, um, there was an athletic director here, and he left, and so I was up, you know, interviewed for that position and got the position in 2011 and stayed till 2020. So it was a yeah. great run and, and, you know, great, great memories here at, at Cal Jones Field. So when we start talking about 2020, when you left, I go, well, gosh darn it, just when I was getting to know Sandy pretty good and uh, just through mutual friends and stuff, you know, and then she leaves, and I go, what the heck? Little did we know that you were actually, after retirement, you were going to step it up a little bit more, Sandy. Um, there's if, if there's one thing about Imperial Valley that has happened more recently now is that we have people in position where Imperial Valley is making a, not so much a difference, but they're getting a vote at the table. Right, you know, and, and I, I know in, in about the year 2000, we decided to go into the San Diego section and we were all kind of worried about, I was coaching at the time and thinking, wow, is this is this going to be a, a positive change for the Valley schools? I know Hopeville was always in the San Diego section, but making that change from, from the Southern section to San Diego, we always felt like, oh boy, what are we getting into? Little did we know, here in 2023, we've got Simon Canales that's on Federated Council. Simon Canales is also the uh, chair for the CI, so CIF San Diego Section Executive Committee. I mean, we moved up. Actually, Simon is the one that submitted my name to Commissioner Joe Hines as a possible candidate for this position that I'm on now. And they talked to me in April and said, would you be interested in something like this? I'm like, wow, anything I can do from anywhere to be a part of, of education-based athletics that is a, 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 a community and a federation that cares about student athletes, put my name in that hat. And so it was a lengthy process and I had to go and submit my information, a resume, and then wait and let the, the now Federated Council decide on that vote. So I, so now, have you been to a meeting yet? Have you been to your first official I've meeting? I've been to two uh, a CIF executive Ladies committee meeting. Let's That's like the board. And then we had our first federated council meeting a couple weeks ago in LA. Okay, and let's not forget about Joey Vandress because he's a Southeastern representative yes. for, for the Valley teams down yes. here. So when you, Again. that ladder right there, that CIF being represented in, from every almost every step am i correct by saying every step though every step every step we're there and joe does a great job with the with the, the president of our um our, our the southeastern conference he's got two leagues going on mm -hmm. and you know schools all over the valley and joe does a great job joe is that they know when you know say for example anybody can bring something up that they're interested in like the flag football came yeah. about because one person was interested in that took it to his athletic directors took it to their their, their their section committee and then here we are today with one of the fastest growing sports you know we got over 500 500 teams in, in, Sandy, in CIF it's, it's awesome it's, yeah it's awesome. Sandy would you have coached flag football oh <laughs> back in Copa I was a quarterback for powder puff but believe me this is nothing like powder puff these girls are athletes yeah they're, they've got the agility Ladies they've got the skill they got their skill set is amazing amazing yeah, and congratulations to everybody that made that happen. And what was interesting about that, Sandy, how fast it happened. Now, that's a good thing and a bad thing. The bad thing only is for the fact that, whoa, they were just thrown out there and, and people had to get coaches. You had to right. get the teams. And wait a minute, we got to get uniforms and, and everything. But, look, I think it's great. I, we did our first uh, live stream with the, the ladies' bell I game. That. Yeah, and that was I pretty cool. That. Enjoyed that. We're actually going to be live for the Calexico uh, El, uh, Brawley game, which might decide the championship, depending on what the Sandys are, what they do today. Yes. This being a Thursday, I keep thinking, but there's some of them are playing today, so that makes a difference. So yes. congratulations to everything you've done, Appreciate Sandy. That. I mean, I, I kid you not, people, when when we say that the Valley is represented at the CIF level, we, we are not kidding now. We actually have a vote and a vote that counts. And not only that, our voice counts. And not just in, in the boys' sports, but in the girls' sports, like Sandy just said, black football. You know, it, it started to come about, it started to go, and it's good. And it's and it's worked out for everybody. I mean, it's a lot of work, though. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, it is a lot of work. But hats off to the officials. And I want to say, yeah. you know, Alan Phillips trying to get these crews out. And now he's got, you know, flag football to do. And the other night here, last night at Central, you had a, a JV football game. It's a JV freshman, I can't remember. And then you had two flag football games. And these officials who are learning as we all yeah. are, are having to, you know, change their hats to cover a, a flag game from a tackle game in 20 minutes. So, I, you know, Alan Phillips, John Seaman, you guys are doing an excellent job. And 
and I, I'm really, you know, glad yeah. that they're out there. And, and that's also J.J. Jackson, Gene Martin, and Fred Ramsey oh, yes. as the rest of the White House. Well, we're going to top it off with one more feather in your cap. Uh, okay. This, this I think, is pretty big. I mean, look, where you're at is, is cool, but you are actually being recognized by the high school coaching legends, and you're being nominated. And to me, that's a vote from your peers, Sandy. So oh, congratulations to that. Thank you, Will. Uh, the date on that is going to be next Thursday. That's next Thursday, and 26th. we will be posting something about that definitely after the pictures and okay. all that. You got it. So, uh, Sandy, uh, you're such an interesting person. Once all this, you know, once you're retired, is what I'm trying to get at. And I think that's pretty yeah. cool how you you keep giving back to the community. I mean, look. And November 10th through the 12th, you have a, with Naid, you have a tournament, tournament coming up. Yeah, my husband's camp, which is from people from all over the world. He's bringing his grandmaster down. It's a martial arts camp, and it's, you know, in San Diego because we outgrew everything around here. So it's a, we got over 200 people coming, so we're ready to rock and roll. I'll tell you what, Sandy, I love your energy, love your support, and appreciate everything you do for BSN. Thank you so much. We'll be back with BSN with Coach Ron and uh, Coach Swearingen, thank you very much. Grosso's, an Imperial Valley tradition since 1955. Family owned and operated. Located at 1902 West Main Street, El Centro. Grosso's is open Wednesday through Sunday at 5 p.m. Order to go or come in for the Italian dining experience. Imperial Flying Service, taking care of the entire Imperial Valley with all your aviation fuel needs. Imperial Flying Service is a proud supporter of our U.S. military, the aviation community, and all Imperial Valley communities. InterCare, since 1970. When it comes to health care, InterCare is here to help, with locations throughout the Imperial Valley. InterCare, improving the health and wellness of the community. Whether you're looking to purchase or sell, your next home awaits. Give the Dom team a call. With over 50 years of experience and over 100 years in the Imperial Valley, Andy and Doug can help you find the right home at the right price, fast. Visit us online at www.thedomteam.com and let Andrew and Doug find the perfect home for you. Call today, 760-337-8600. Lee Tire Company. We are a local family owned business specializing in tires and automotive needs. We are located at 114 Main Street, El Centro. Call us at 760-352-352 one seven two one
back to Cal Jones Field as we're winding down into the third start of the second half where we have the Central Spartans 14, Imperial Tigers 3. Coach, that score 14-3, to three, I don't think is indicative of what kind of ball game we've seen so far. Boy, did you hit the nail on the head. I, I, th- it, this is anybody's ball game. It, it, and if, 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 of course, you can play the if game forever. Right, right, right. But, but, I mean, even if Imperial scores on two of their red zone possessions, my God. Well, it, it's a different it's, story we're telling. Oh, I'm telling you. It, it, in other words, I'm going to say it. Imperial came to play. Imperial came to play. They came out. They came out strong. And here's the deal. For all their hard work, they've got three points. But also for all their hard work on defense, they've limited yes. the Spartans to 14. Yo. Nothing bigger than the pick down here that stopped Central from one touchdown drive, Coach. And Central had the one drive. Had that one drive. Had that one drive that was, you know, stopped by a turnover. I'll tell you, this this – very first series, the second half, could be very crucial. Uh, Imperial's got to kick off, and to me, they've got to lay a stop on Central. If Central drives right, down the exactly field. Exactly right, yeah. Hey, look out. This is kind of a tone-setting drive right yes. now of the game, a tone-setting drive yes. for the Imperial Tigers. They've got themselves, despite not capitalizing on some of the situations that have been given to them, mm-hmm. they're still in it. So this drive right here on defensive stand, they need to, you know, as Coach said, stop the Spartans, get the ball back. But here's an interesting thing. Those last three possessions, one by the Spartans, I mean, the muff punt started it. Yes. The muff punt. Yes. Didn't get much off of that. And then they throw a pick, right? Right. They throw a pick. And what does Central do? They give it right back. Yes. Boom. And here we go again. Yes. man is brings it down there. It's like, who's going to capitalize? Exactly. Exactly right. And then <laughs> it went down to the wire with the unsportsmanlike. Central still had a shot yes. from their 40, I believe. Yes, they did. So, look, this is the kind of game we kind of, well, honestly, did we expect it? I, I expected a, tighter, a tight game. I consider this tight 14-3. Oh, it, it, it is. It's a game. You know, it, you know, towards the end of the first half, uh, Ronnie, I wasn't trying to be derogatory oh, about no, for sure. Ayala. No, no, I was oh, talking no. about him locking on. But you as a DB, no, yes. former DB, know this. It makes it easier. But if you're a quarterback, his head's got to be on a swivel. You've got to, if you just lock on, mm-hmm. that, that's a DB's dream. And, you know, he, he had open people on the trip side. So all that has been done. It's gone. It's in the past, yes. and that's why you're down. To your it's it Spartans fourteen, Tigers. New game. With three, a new game. The last twenty minutes here. Now the block that we talked about earlier. The four minutes that end this, the first quarter, then the second quarter. I'm sorry. Yep. The last four minutes, and now these first four minutes into the third. What happens here? Who takes com- not command? But who does well and who's effective in these four minutes? You said it. That you, when you, this is going to set the tone. And what a good man to set it off with his foot. That's Joel Robles. Robles, who's had some great punts, had his uh, first punt block tonight, scoop and score by Nehemiah Perez. Now here comes Robles. Intentional po- pooch. We're going to have offside. Offsides Tigers, so the Tigers. See, those are things that, those to me are mental. You don't need that sort of thing to start. It's just, you've got to eliminate those. Offsides Tigers. You know, there's an old saying in football that everybody who plays the game gets beat, sometimes mm-hmm. physically. Right. But a champion never gets beat mentally. I like you that. You can't make mental mistakes. You can't make it easy for your opponent by mental mistakes. Physical, you could deal with because you could fix that. Right. You can maybe fix a technique or fi- some something physical you can fix. So now the re-kick again by Robles. Trying to get the numbers on Hoover. And another pooch. It's the pooch. You have 54. Oh! Boy, I thought there was going to be a fumble on that. Well, or a muff, I should say. It was say. called a fair catch by Lizziola, but 55 didn't see that. So, however, fair caught by Felix Aguirre. So now, with the 11 58, we're just starting the second half, third, start of the third quarter. Great field position on that pooch kick, coach. Uh huh. They're at the 38. 
Now, Imperial, to, make, to stay in this game, they're, they're going to have to stop Central on this drive. That's just my opinion. Short motion by the Spartans. They give us to this. Yep. Biesca. I'm trying to remember who the other running back Central had that they, they rotated in with Viesca. The Mayo kid. Yeah, that's it. That's yep. him. That is him. Haven't seen Mayo. And, you know, they've run that A-gap at will. At will, man. And it's quick. It's hitting really quick. Yes. And for people who at home who don't know, the A-gap is between the guard and the center. For sure. And now, again, up again. the A-gap. A gain of three. I'm going to give him three on that. It's going to be a third Major down and third three. And two two A-gap running plays. Two A-gap running plays. This play, this drive started at the 38th. They're now at the 46th. And they've got three to go. they got three yards to go. Third down. Now in the Wildcat formation, that's Viesca, number that's two. That's power. Viesca tries it, a gap, and there's a big wall. There's a wall. Did he get any no. progress? Uh -uh. No, no progress no, at no. all. No. Great job by the, um, the Imperial Bunch Tigers. Bunch of Tigers. Let's see who's crawling off that big man there. Apodaca, no surprise. 66 yeah. in the bottom of that pile. Yeah. No I'll surprise you, Victor there. Victor Cruz Jr. and Victor Cruz Sr., their defense did a great job on that. Also there, Danny Escobar. Escobar has been a busy guy on the defense. And now they did what they had to do. Did they, have, they got a first down? No, they never got a first no. down. So it's no. three and out. 10-24 remaining in the third quarter. And nice recovery by the kick punter. Oh, got an Imperial bounce. So Vega scoops it. Hey. They're fortunate that ball's at the 30. The yeah. A Tiger 30, not at the to central 30. Top Notch Barber. Fresh fades, always a cutaway. Visit Top Notch Barber Shop. Big Chris is at 317 Wake Avenue in El Central for a one of a kind haircut. RDO, minimize your downtime and protect your equipment. Investments should stop by our Imperial headquarters located at 3275 Highway 86. Nothing runs like a deer. So, Ronnie, why has Imperial not gone back to that that running set that they opened the game with? They were successful with it. Starting the third quarter, they have Castro, number 26, is your single back. Trips to the right of Ayala. The give us to Castro. Castro goes right up the middle. Quick, as quick as he hit it. It closed that. The, the Spartans closed in so yes, quick they on did. him. It, assortment. It, uh, there was an assortment of, of uh, Spartans there led by number 59, Davion Hartfield. It closed as fast as it opened. Malachi O'Connor, a good, quick defensive line. Haven't mentioned much, but back on the field, well, Isaiah Geary, number 52, another tackle. But number 22, you can't, can't go out tonight without saying a thing about Jared Martin. Martin back from an injury. Yes. He's your defensive end down here to the right. 22 trips to the right, second down and eight. Shot out to number one, Felix. Felix on the out pass. Minimal gain, and that's great defense. Big yeah. pass coverage. I mean, Central's playing good out. defense the first two downs. And I like what they did with Martin on that play. I don't know if that's by design, but, man, he's a defensive end on the right side. Instead of rushing, the technique is something I've never seen before. Yeah. So now with a third down and five for the Tigers on their first possession. Hey, and Coach Rubio, congratulations or, uh, to you on your win last night. Thank you very Over much. Over to Lexico. Good job. Thank you very much. 8.42 remaining. And here's the deal with the time of possession. Look, look how the Tigers are just taking their time. Yep. Running a play. It's a big down, but it's a... They're, no, no, I they've, thought been they were, in, they've been in third and not very third. Oh. They're third and, you know, it's over five, whatever. Seems really like all night. Yeah, all night. And we're going to get a timeout by Shaw, who's not too happy about the formation setup. Nope. So the first time out of the game, and with that being said, we will return right back. Marianne Valenzuela Fenley 
is your State Farm Insurance agent in the Imperial Valley. And like a good neighbor, she's located at 528 G Street in Brawley. Call State Farm agent Marianne Valenzuela Fenley at 760-344-0447 for your home, auto, and life insurance. At Burgers and Beer, our customers are like family. Back to Cal Jones Field with 818 remaining. Brawley Police Foundation. Join the Brawley Police Foundation to support a safe community through par partnership with the police. Our goals include K-9. So back to action. Third down. Third down and five for the Tigers. Fake swing pass out to number 12. Oh, 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 oh that's a Dora May. Nice play. Alfredo Dora made nice little motion and that swing out. Long handoff. Long handoff, and this time it works. Last time on a big third down, they tried to jet sweep that Dora made kid. Nothing doing on that, but right here, yep. cashes in. Great play call. Took the timeout. Yes. Benefited from that timeout. Yes. First and 10, eight minutes now. Tigers now in Spartan ter territory at the 48. Wide side will be to the right of Ayala. Single back looks like Jimenez. The give to him, man, is up that gap, boom. Right up the A gap. Smash. Six yards. We're going to give him six, second down and four. Yeah. And, the, and now look at these holes of substitution. That's got to be a formation, maybe. Maybe the split back. Two, two and five. Now here's Imperial across the 50 again. There we go. In Spartan territory. And again, we pass. We're, we've already passed. We're getting near the last four minutes of the first four minutes of the third. The give is to Jimenez off the left Jimenez side. Again. Jimenez looks like he may be a tad short of the first down. He made a great move, Ronnie. He that the hole he tried to hit was but there, and he stutter stepped and he went against the grain a little bit. Well, he's going to be now short, maybe by half a yard. Third down again. Third down again, but this time, third not even a yard. Now, at this this same situation earlier. Jumped off sides. Yes. Hit him. Yes. There's the set they opened There's the game the with. Set. Now, what do you play action off this? Who knows? Third and short. The give is to Jimenez. Jimenez to the right that. side. Jams it up to the 30. Great run. Great call. That's two first downs on this drive, they're Coach. first down. They're knocking at the world. They're at the 30-yard line. First possession of the second half for the Tigers' offense. Spartans now substituting some people in. That's number 75 going in there will be. Hey, Imperials come out with a little fire, Coach. They sure did. Max Fimbra is number 75. Gets a little bit of bigger bodies inside there. Martin seems to be. He's at the top to the right of the offense of the Tigers. Fake to Jimenez. Ayala looks. No, I'm sorry. It was a gift to Jimenez. Led by number 14 of the Spartans. Gain of about four. 14, that was Gavin Mora. Great play by Mora coming Coach, up from this the linebacker. Smash mouth ball. football. Smash Here mouth stop football. Us. Hey, but he gained four yards, second yes. down and six. <laughs> they say seven on, on the scoreboard. I'll tell you what, I love it. Ball's at the 26 yard line. Base play of football. Yeah. And look at the clock. I'm just amazed at yes. how quick it's just draining. This is only the second possession, first one for the Tigers. Well, I'll tell you what I love is them. Those. Look at that. Oh, he managed oh. trying to bounce it out and a great tackle. Oh, got him by the shoelaces. Want to get the number of that kid who saved a big run. Woo. Coach, he may have went. He may have went, but a great play, great yes. effort by number seven. That's Matthew Lizayola. And they're looking at another third down. Third down. Third and doable. That's a good thing. Yes. And look where they're, what part of the field they're having this. So now, it's going to be interesting if they don't make it, Ooh. whether they kick, try to kick it Guys, or go for it. You know, I, I think we all know that answer right there. Once again, thanks to Selena and the CUH uh, snack bar for great food at halftime. Yes. 
So here we go, third down. Fake to Jimenez, throws to, oh yeah, two tighters and one comes up with it. Woo. Touchdown, Darian Romo. I'm just looking Romo. around to make sure there's no flags, and it, it's clear flags. We got a TD, uh -oh. six points. Romo on the play action. So you had Romo, who also plays probably the leading tackler on the on Imperial defense with the re touchdown reception. Now, who was the other guy with them? Was that via Campos, 36? That was just beautiful, Dude. that jet flying over us. But, uh, so now set to kick is Robles. Set to hold is Ayala. The snap is good. The hold is good. The kick is right. Yeah. If, and it's good. Ladies so and gentlemen, fourth. we got a ball game. No, Coach, let's go back to what <laughs> you were talking about earlier. How many times did they get in the end roll and didn't score? They're going to – doesn't matter what the outcome is because, look, they're going to look back at this. Now, look, this is a ball game. Oh. You, this is a this is, this is is a true ball game. I hope everybody at home is enjoying it. Man, and, and hold the phone, Mama. I'll tell you what, and thanks to Ron and Coach, man, doing an excellent job here. Marianne Finley, your State Farm Insurance, located – in 122 Main Street in Brawley. Make sure to give her a call at 760-344-1447. The Original Town Pump Steakhouse. For the best steaks in Imperial Valley, visit the Original Town Pump located at Legendary Westmoreland, 200 West Main Street. Across the street from JJ's Tire. Family fine dining at its best. Call for reservations at 344-3663. Back to Ron Rubio and Coach Swearingen. So with 4-7 remaining in the third quarter, it's been a one possession apiece for each team. However, the Spartans were three and out. Tigers cashed in on a drive of nine plays, six run, three pass, and, and a great play action. They went oh, back to that set. Coach yes. just talked about right when the two tight quarters, ends, yeah. and they ran tight end pop. And they, yeah, <laughs> and it was nice. Yes. So here we go. And now that, Coach, you brought it up. Look what they did to the clock. The clock just drained, man. 4-17 remaining. And another pooch, another pooch, and a fair catch by number nine. Yep. That's Artie yes. Estrada. So they're trying to kick away from Estrada. Yes, yes. And lo and behold, he, got, he catches the pop-up. Letterman and Bros is the production and retailer of custom and Letterman jackets, serving the Imperial Valley for over 20 years. Make sure and give Daniel a call at 760-693-5034. Cannot go as we get ready and go back with Ron Rubio and Coach Swearingen. So on that dr drive of, of nine plays, Coach, there were six runs on that drive. Yes. So that means, you know, and, and three pads. Yeah. So they're not – the situation's good for the Tiger. Here's Viesca up the A-gap. Good defense. Th this time – Woo! This time defended a little bit better by the Tigers. 52 on the play. That's Levi Mincher. Imperials get a little more aggressive coming off the ball defensively. Jordan Malek also on the tackle. So now the Tigers with that touchdown, down by four, 3.30 remaining. Can the Spartans get some momentum on this second drive of the half, second half for them? Fake to big, yes, got slant, overthrown, intended for. Trying to run that slant again. And which was there, Emiliano Morales, intended receiver, overthrown. Jimenez is lucky that one didn't get land in somebody's arms over yeah. the hands of the I'm tell you, the, the old tip drill. That was high. He's been on the money. That one just got away from him. 320, rem 320 remaining in the third quarter. So we have trips to the left. That's the wide side for Jimenez. Jimenez is looking that way. He shoots it. It's complete. Boy, Back he, to number he threaded five. the needle. It's there, man. Morales. First down, came back to it. Now that's. That's the confidence that Jimenez seems to be he's playing with tonight. He came out firing at the first play of the game was a pass yes. foam. Ronnie, that was a small window he yeah, threw small. that into. But a well ran the route was ran very yes. well. I mean yes. that kid hit the crease. There it is, bam. Right. Yes. Doubles, swings out to Viesca. Viesca to the 45. Ooh. Good like, play. Number seven. Good play. Tackle by Jimenez. Offensive lineman trying to get out there and block Boy, for nice Fiesca. Play. That was Leo Camarena. I'd like to say hello to Hank and Sue Barron from Grosso's, located in 1902 West Main Street for that fine Italian dining. Go to Grosso's Restaurant. 
Again, he managed, just whips it out there. Artie Estrada caught, and he's fighting his way to the 35. I think they're going to mark him. Down. He's got a first down. So what? on a second down and sick, a little spot pass to yep. Estrada. Estrada's coming out a little bit, a little bit. Hard hit, but a great effort on Estrada's part. This drive started on Central's 37. On, yeah. Now, they're not throwing the ball deep, but by, but you just look at the way they it's moved effect, it. Yeah, they. Very methodical. Viesca up the A gap. Viesca has room. Gain about three. He was tripped up in the backfield by number 64 of the, of the Tigers. Boy, he's got good feet. Quick feet, Maximus Alvarez. You have Alpadaca at the nose. That's lined up right over the center. I'll tell you, nose guards have got to be part cat, part bull, part. and part sadistic. Levi Mincher's out there. Alpadaca does have all those traits. Let's see what he does. Eh, under center. No, he's not nope. under center. Making a call. Trip to the left, 120 remaining. Fakes it out, he's RPO and being chased. Wait. Oh, no. number 19, complete to number 19 of the Spartans. And it looks like they're gonna give him a first down Joshua on that. Garcia, Garcia. And I like the, I like how he managed, man, he's just flowing with that offense. Doesn't panic, he gets chased, he doesn't rush it, and boom, he waits right. till that receiver gets open. For all your real estate needs, give Doug and Andrew a call at 760-337-8600. The Dom team has been in Imperial Valley since 1908. For business, residential, and farmland real estate, it's the Dom team. Thank you very much, Doug and Andrew, for all your support through the years with BSN. 42 Man. seconds remaining. The clock is winding down on a very, very, very fast third quarter. Wildcat formation to Viesca. He tries the right side. Oh, He's not going to get great much. Play. Why Ethan Reeves? Ethan Reeves. With a great play penetration. Brings up second and ten. No gain. No gain no on gain. the play. A great play. I've said it before. He comes from a family of football players. That's the Reeves family from Imperial. Great play there by Ethan. Keeping the tradition alive at that linebacker spot. There was no gain on that. There was no gain. It was played downhill. And Viesca is not an easy catch. That kid is quick. Jimenez now looking to his left. He rolls to his left. He's pressured. Knocked oh, down by great. number 55. That's the old rule. Get your hands Damn, he up. He can't get him. Get them arms up. Danny Esquivez. And that's it. So we end the second, I mean the third quarter. Third quarter. With a great drive Boy, by the go fast. It went quick. I think two possessions each. Man, I, 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 I'm telling you, that's just one of those quarters that keeps going. And we're as we look forward to a great fourth quarter between these two teams right here, Ivy Weldon and Mechanical, contractor serving the geothermal and all industrial facilities in Imperial Valley. Ivy Welding, proud sponsor of Valley Sports this Network. Give Fred a call at 760-483-WELD. Burgers and beer. Hope you're all enjoying a great time right now at Burgers and Beer. If you couldn't make it to the game, hope you're having a great time watching BSN's Game of the Week, located at 260 North Imperial Avenue in El Centro. CRNR Incorporated Environmental Service Recycling being more important than ever. CRNR Incorporated yeah. has developed innovative recycling and reuse programs. They, the face it, of a greener generation. Remember the Bell Game tickets for sale. Havens Landscaping. Hey, I was, I was. Congratulations. Congratulations to Brandon, man. Starting his starting his first game, starting his first game at college in Arizona, man. Havens and Sons Trucking is located at 603 East Main Street in El Centro, specializing in gravel, rock, and stone for all your landscaping material needs. Give them a call at 352-6735. Cannot Back to action with Ron Rubio and Coach Swearingen. That's the well, we're going to start the fourth quarter of a well-played, well-played third quarter. I mean, game up to this point. This drive here for the Spartans started at their own 37. Here's a quick out to number five of the Spartans. Emiliano Morales gets away. If he gets away, great effort by Villacampos, number 36. That well, be accomplished. Great play. Beautiful open field tackle. Shot that out. It's been very effective. 
Oh, baby, that's football right there. What down was that? Oh, it, fourth down. Yeah. They, they announced fourth Whoa, down and big. eight. That is yeah, big. Fourth and eight. Wide side would be to the right of Jimenez. Oh, and it looks like someone's going to call a timeout. Timeout. Timeout by Central. So with rookie Pena calling the timeout, BSN will be right back after this. At Burgers and Beer, our customers are like family. Let's hear what a few of them have to say about us. We're here at Burgers and Beer with the best burgers in town. We get to sit together and enjoy the great food. I like when burgers and beer is in the lemonade. For the fresh iced tea, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It is wonderful, very fast, very efficient. I love the great food and family environment. I love the burgers and the customer service. So come and see us and find out for yourself at Burgers and Beer. Back to Cal Jonesville, Reach Medical Response Service. Donnie Wharton will remind you that when seconds count, you can depend on Reach Medical Transportation Service. Ojeda Industries, Tony and Patricia Ojeda, serving Imperial Valley for all your industrial and agricultural needs, such as hydraulic service and repair. Located in Brawley at 1698 Jones Street. Back to action, 1126 remaining. Huge fourth down yes, play it is. for the Spartans. He managed, rolls right. He managed, looks to his left. He's looking. He touches it under, throws it, and it is. I kind of thought he went over, over the line of scrimmage. I'm, I'm looking for a flag right now, Ron. I don't see one. I don't see one. Well, regardless, it's going to be Imperial yeah, Ball. But Imperial I, Ball. You and I both were looking at the same thing. Then we looked across at the marker. But it's going to be first down, Imperial Tigers. The Tigers hold on with 11-18. That is interesting, Ron, that, that stoppage right there. It was huge. They had to start. That play started at the 37 of the, of the, of the Spartans. They were moving the ball well. They yeah. were on their heels, 11 plays. La Fonda Bar and Grill, experience the vibrant flavors of Mexico at La Fonda. From sizzling carne asada to mouthwatering enchiladas, located at 1950 South 4th Street in El Centro. I ate that carne asada burrito at halftime with my eyes closed, thinking it was La Fonda. Gardner. I'll, I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> so here's that set. Running set. Will they run? He managed to the left side. He managed. Oh, did he run? JJ. Something we're seeing, Ron, where it's Jimenez's night. They keep giving well, him the run. Yeah, you know, it, it, real interesting. That's a great statement because last week it was reversed. Castro was getting yeah. yards. Now Jimenez is. Behind the wheel tonight, 11.06 remaining. But I like that. How, it's how, good how to you, have, man. It's, it's a luxury. situations, how you explain it, how like, hey, look, if it's your night, you're rolling with it, whatever it is, yeah, you're just, keep giving you the rock, you man. just so happen to be in there and the O-line's blocking. You That's know what I line. see? I see Imperial gaining confidence. That's true, Coach. I see him gaining confidence. The man is, again, trying the same side he again, but no results seven. there. In fact, he just barely gets back to the line of scrimmage, brought down by a whole bunch of Spartans. Well, this, is one of, this is one of the places where Robles is not going to save him with the three-point three field goal. No. Max Fiember is on the play. You know, up here at our vantage point, we don't have the screen in front of us, but so we usually don't really see who really makes the tackle, but you more or less see. <laughs> in a but I know Freemberg was on that on, one. On second players, long. Make sure that you turn in now, all the play action. So can do the drawing. Soccer players selling the tickets. Now, Ron, Let's see what nope. formation they're in. They're going spread. To the snack Ron board. Rubio is right. You at home have a better view at who makes that tackle than we do up here. Yes. I'm seeing where Martin is. Martin, ooh. Game again is to JJ. Jimenez in takes that ball board, up to the 30. Another third nine, down. Another third down. And third down and about five yards. Third and five with 943 remaining. Gentlemen, good call game tonight. Hasn't it been? Boy, you know, they've ones? looked at third downs all night. Yeah, I was going to say, how many third downs have we had tonight? Good Lord. Well, I, I, I'm sure Imperial's still thinking about that one third down where the uh, left tackle jumped jumped a little bit and make them, made it third and long instead of third and two. So here's another big third down for the Tigers. Fake to Jimenez. Ayala follows oh, what Ayala. A quarterback keep to the 50. Whoa. He's inside. Uh oh. Ayala, what a great read that was. Oh, I don't know who he ran. Ed Man on the line of scrimmage. Tucked it. Ayala for the first down inside Spartan first down territory. Tigers. 
As they move the markers here, I'd like to say thank you to Imperial Flying Service, taking care of the Imperial entire Imperial Valley with all aviation fuel needs. Proud supporter of our U.S. military and Imperial Valley communities. Back to Ron. So the Tigers now, after the turnover on down for the Spartans, was 11 play drive, resulted on a turnover of downs. Ayala with Jimenez. Jimenez to the left, nothing doing. Great tackle by who? That's Is number seven. With a tackle. Coach, the, on this Here's drive, the five game. plays, all of them run. And good production Second of their 10. runs. You're inside uh, Spartan territory. Yep, it started, started at the 19. I mean, it's been a heck of a. Yeah. That's where the turnover downs were. That's yes. where the uh, Spartans gave it up. Oh. Now, you have to question yourself. Does the experience of last week versus Brawley blowing yeah. in, you know, yes. not cashing in on. Yes. yes. Now, oh, yeah. does that experience pay off right now on sure. this drive? I, I, I think yes, it does. I think that's key, man. I, I think. Like, they're on a mission. They have to be. They look like it. Ayala playing with. Oh, Ayala's got to shoot it to his left. That's Nixon. Good coverage. By Good coverage. Was that ball thrown out of bounds? Brings up third well, and ten. I don't know, but there's no lack of the arm strength in Ayala. And I'll tell you what, no lack in the confidence that they have going to um, Nixon again third and again. Ten. Inside man on this Good side numbers. went down, was open in a window. And he never looked. It just his head turned, locked on. Right now, yeah, I know the guys have man coverage on that side, but yeah, well, I'll tell you. Well, what. Well, let's see what they have. Maybe the coaches picked it up. Third down and ten. Third and ten on a play like this. Who are you looking for to block? You better look out for number twenty-two on top. And look at Hoel. Rodriguez, number 12, maybe. Is he going to get pressure from the outside? He sure does. Ayala looks. He shoots it out complete to Nixon. Nixon to the 40. Nixon short of a first down. They got to go for it. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in I'm in the – well. They got to go for I'm it. I'm sorry, Brandon Felix. This is going to be crucial. Do you call a oh. timeout first? Uh, Do you save him? You go ooh, for it? Fourth and four. Yeah. And look, Rookie already called one of his timeouts right here. How many timeouts does Imperial have? Imperial's used one, and so has Central. Yeah, they both have two remaining. Yes, it's coach. way too far for Robles. He's got a great leg, but man, you're looking. But the out. three points, you know, do they feel confidence that they can hold them and get the ball what? back in between the seven minutes? Yes, that, that's a good point. Because if you're only down by one, what does a field goal do? Put yeah. you up by two. Yeah, doesn't matter if you lose by one or twenty. Yeah, you still lose. Still. Ah, and there's and that now. timeout. Oh, good question here. And so as the Imperial Tigers take their time out, leaving them with one, BSN will be right back. You don't want to miss nothing. Ojeda Industries is here to offer solutions with exceptional products and services for all your agricultural, industrial, and power transmission needs. It's Ojeda Industries, hydraulic repair service in Brawley at 1698 Jones Street. Call us at 760 760- 623-7299. Go. Back to Cal Jones Field. El Central Police Department dedicated to serve our community through partnerships, professionalism, and uncompromised uncom excellent quality of life protection service is our commitment. Driscoll's serving the Imperial Valley since 1979. They take great pride in the years of experience and quality of custom silk screens, embroidery, and letterman jackets. Stop by the, their location at 1470 West State in El Centro. Now here we go, 704 remaining. Big play for the Tigers and the Spartans. Boy, I tell you what, if you weren't here tonight or watching us, you've missed a heck of a, a game. Good ball game, good ball game. We got you. that wing to the left you have. You have Jimenez, fake to Jimenez. Ayala swings it out to Villacampos, and Villacampos is short. He's short. Great play by Artie Estrada. Howell. Estrada, you had Jose L. Rodriguez on the play, stops him. But 6.59 remaining. How many timeouts does, does Imperial have? I'm Imperial they've has, got one they, left. They, they have one left. They have one left, so that's crucial right now with 6.59 remaining. They need a stop, Ron. Coach, they need yep. a stop right here. Yes, they and, do. And, and they might be able to save them a timeout. 
you know, but the way Central's been running the ball in between the tackles, Coach, I, I don't know. This first down is crucial in my opinion. They get three plus, four or five yards on this. They got to yeah. limit the plays yeah. of Central's offense. Let's see what they could do. Short motion by the Spartans to give. No, he shoots it out. That's Jimenez. And is that incomplete pass? Incomplete uh, pass. What, what does an incomplete pass do, Rob? Stops the clock, and Via Campos is clock. happy about that. And that's exactly what Imperial wanted. That stopping the clock on an incomplete pass is just like a timeout for the Imperial Tigers. You get to catch your breath a little bit. Second down and 10 now. Also on the play, defending Eddie Martinez. That's a very long throw, though. That is a very long throw for a short pass. Motion by... And that's Viesco up the gate gap. Brought down by Reeves, but not after he gains, let's say, seven. Seven yards is not bad. Oh, heck no. Not <laughs> on second and ten. Makes third and three a lot better. So we got four people coming on, four people coming off. This is a little different group, and, and I don't know if this is their big package or not, but it'll be interesting to see. I'll tell you this. Don't get behind them in a buffet line. For real. South Cali Air Conditioning, number one York dealer in Imperial Valley. Contact, contact them today for all your AC and heater needs. Back to the action on the field. As Wildcat, well. yeah, Wildcat formation and do the Tigers bail them out? They're gonna let that play go. Viesco off to the right side. First down. Hey, but great hustle by number four, Jaden Wilson. Contain yep. kind of broke, kind of broke down down here. And, but Wilson, I mean, I thought they were going to flag Imperial. However, yeah. the play was continuing. Biesco just hit that corner with just speed versus speed. Central had had the. It was like, it was the like Imperial wasn't ready. They weren't ready. The, I, first down and ten inside Tiger territory. They're at the 47-yard line. Motion by Morales. They give to Biesco. Biesco off the left Stop side. Nothing cold. doing there. Good defense. Good defense by the Tigers. That's from all the Johnny Burritos that line's been eating, being a part of our community. Johnny's Burritos, serving you and your family for many years to come since 1963. Heart Insurance, your full service agency offering customized protection throughout California and Arizona. Give the girls a call at 760-344-1400. So on, that, so on that last drive, Imperial, eight plays, five run, three pass. It got two first downs, but Stalled. Stalled. Trips to the right. Biesca, fake. Jimenez looks. He shoots it out complete to Morales. Morales. Emiliano. Hey, he made something out of nothing. Good they catch. Did. The Tigers secondary reacted. They reacted good. very well. Came up, played it yes, well. they did. And you have to play that well. You know, defending out in space like that, Coach Matt, you yeah. make one wrong step as a DB. Adios. Yep. He, you know, it's one of those things to where you, you make the right and you look like a hero. You yeah. make one wrong step and look like a bomb. I'll tell you what, I think it's been an excellent ball game, man. Jimenez yeah. again. He's rolling to the left. Jimenez is looking. Is he open? Oh, out of the hands of Morales. Stops the clock, 441 remaining. And I'll tell you what, with 441 to go, I just want to say before I go downfield, it's been a pleasure. Um, I got my duties to go downstairs, but you guys tonight, I think we're great. So, uh, Ron and Coach, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Will Torres signing off. We'll be right back. This is a great ball game going down on the field now. Back to action with 441 remaining. In the fourth quarter, fourth down. Is this their first punt for Central? Yes. <laughs> I'm wondering. That's Vega again. Vega number 16 is nice May. Game. Oh, it's going to take a bounce. Will it make it to the end zone? Ooh, wait. I think they might have a. So the kid had body control. Kept it. All the way to the one yard line. So on that last drive for the Spartans, six plays, three run, three pass, one first down, but it ends up results in a punt. But even better, coach rolls all the way to the one yard line. You talk about starting in a hole. Dude, I mean, you can't get in a bigger hole than that. 99 yards away, 433 remaining. Yeah, Will this be their last possession? The possessions are going to are huge now. Super, super, super huge. And you, you can't afford an interception down here. 
you bet, if you're going to throw at all coming out, he better be a high percentage completion pattern. Mm -hmm. First and ten. Ayala sit standing in his end zone. Ayala, the gift to Jimenez. Can Jimenez get him some breathing room? And the answer to that is no. And here's the term brought down by a host of Spartans. I mean, they're right there. They're just clogging up that middle. Stoppage of play for what reason? I, I don't know. Got a tiger down oh, Tiger down, Tiger down. Is that Jimenez? Is that the quarterback? Is that alignment? Unknown. Like desert RV and towing. Local Desert RV, owned by Joel Gonzalez and family, wishes Valley teams a successful school year. Services include 24-hour towing and off-road recovery. Contact them at 344-9200. Casbro's. Visit Casbro's Design Shop where they offer trophies, awards, custom t-shirts, embroidery, signs, and banners. Located in Brawley at, uh, call them, 760-550-6878. Keystone HR Employer Services. Keystone HR provides real business solutions that make economic sense. For free business evaluations, call 760-427-287. JJ Tires, 24-hour road service. New tire sales and service. Located 199 Main Street in Westmoreland. Give JJ a call, 760-455-3109. So it looks like Jimenez, I didn't get to see who the kid is. We get a number on that. Not sure if it was a lineman or is that the quarterback? No, it's not the quarterback. Time is now the enemy of Imperial. With 4-11 and ticking, Ayala looking to his right. He rolls to his right. He looks, he throws. Via Campos juggles. Nice. Well defended by Liziola, number seven. Matthew Li and Liziola. And looking at third down again. Yes. Did they gain anything on that play? They little, gained, uh, yeah, two couple, or three yards. So third down third and four. Boy, it has, Ronnie, it's been a game of third downs. So third for down for the Tigers. Wow. But that's the grind, Coach. That's the grind. They're taking out every bit out of every possession. I mean. Yeah. It's a big play right here. Big play. Third down and three. Look at the clock. Three minutes, 30, 30 seconds remaining. Ayala looks, sets up the screen. It's complete to Via Campos. Villacampos trying to get outside for a first down. Did he did, not? Did, He's I don't, short. I don't think he got it. He ran it wide. And, instead of going up the field, it just. And that was short. I mean. I'll tell you what, when he looks at this and sees the daylight, if he had turned it up, coach. They're going to give him a first down. Yes, he did get it. But I boy, mean, up he, from right here, it looked like the spot was going to short him of the first down. Man. 3.07. The minutes, clock is ticking. They. A little bit more uh, urgency, maybe. Yep. But because a field goal won't get you nothing. You need oh, a no. touchdown. Field you need goal six won't points. Do it. Ayala looks. He's rushed. He tosses it out. Incomplete. Incomplete. Intended for Brandon Felix. Central's bringing the pressure right now. Now they are, and why not? It's hey, great, you know. They can lay their ears back in this 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 territory. The ball's at the 12-yard line. Yeah. 2.54 remaining. They only have one timeout, they being Imperial. And not only does a sack hurt you, well, the time, because of the clock, it just keeps rolling. Yeah, and, and you've used two of your timeouts. So trips to the right for Ayala. He has man coverage up there. Nixon, but, he's been trying to go with Nixon, yes. but he's been covered well. Emiliano Morales, a slant, complete! Yes, complete! He, <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Ran. But, Coach, his head, did you see what he did? Yes. He, he looked left and looked, looked back real quick. 
So that was Jaden Wilson on the slant. Is there a flag? I mean, what do we got? Sideline. Oh, sideline side line warning. warning. Oh, probably as they were running down the field. Yep. I mean, you run into a coach, you run it. It's okay. Now they've got 247, one timeout. They're on their own 39 yard line, coach. This is this is interesting. But now the main thing is, coach, the real estate they just got off yes. that play. You get some breathing room, man. You're, yes. You're, you're not. Your playbook's a little bit bigger now. You're out of the hole. You have trips to the right for Ayala. 234 remaining. They have one timeout left. First down. Ayala juggles the ball. He's being rushed. He's going to oh! get his way from it. Ayala does. He got a couple of yards. He got a couple of yards. Looked like a disaster. Looked like a sack. Instead, he gets oh, two I yards thought he out was of that. Sacked. I thought he was sacked. Crunch He's time, man. Crunch time. Turned it into a positive game. Turned something. Now they've got second and about yeah. six or seven, coach. Ball's right at the 42, 43-yard line. Two minutes remaining. It's passing league now. That is complete. Com <laughs> and he got out of bounds, coach. That's a Jayden big thing. Jaden Wilson. Wilson now waking up. Wilson to the 45 of Imperial. Ooh. Boy, I tell you, what a ball game. Woo. One timeout left. Folks, if you're not here and you didn't turn in to watch us, you're missing a great one. 150, 14 to 10 Spartans. 150 to go, coach. 150. The kid that I wouldn't count out, they've been going to him all night looking for him, is Jared Nixon. He is their leading receiver. Central credit, central you defense. Got, they clamped got, him down, trips well you, to the left. Well you got man coverage, but you've got a safety helping out on this side. Ayala looking straight to his left. Ayala shoots it down. Ayala out of bounds. Intended for number 13, Dorame. Incomplete. How many times do you challenge Morales? He's been, he's been meeting every challenge they throw at that, that corner over there. Yeah. The kid's been playing well. Yep. I'll tell you what, Central Secondary is very well schooled. That secondary consists of Morales, number five, Artie Estrada, number nine, trying to get the number of the safety up here. Now this drive started on their own one. At, the own, at their own one. 54 yards later, they're at the 45 of Central. Ayala winds up. Ayala throws it out of bounds. Third down and 10 with 138 remaining. So your first two shots out of your first two plays up that first down are. Yep. And here deep, we are, deep, deep third on. down again. Now then though, coach, if they get the first down, they need to get up on the ball. It's quick, it's quick. Nixon. They've got to get up on the ball if they make this. Nixon splits out. Wide to the left of Ayala. The fake two. Oh, it's a give. Give to Castro, 26. Castro to the 40. Kind of trying to catch Central off by surprise. Yep. But effective. Why? You get a third down and five. Yep. Or fourth and five. Yeah, well, and he gained, what, seven, eight yards. So with that timeout, with that timeout, hard insurance. Your full service insurance agency offering customized protection throughout California and Arizona. We have a heart for personal service. Give us a call at 760-344-1400. Getting hungry? Johnny's Burritos, three locations, Brawley, El Centro, and Piro. Thank you for being part of those communities. We look forward to serving you and your family for many years to come since 1963. Sunbelt Rentals. Need equipment? 
for your next project, look to the experts at Sunbelt Rentals. We've got the tools you need, whether it's big, a big or small project. Fast, reliable, and affordable rentals, Sunbelt Rentals, your partner for success. At 2396 Highway 86 in Imperial. Call us today or visit sunbeltrentals.com. So back to action, 130 remaining. Coach, this second half, oh. it's been one penalty in the second half. A five-yarder against Imperial. That's it. Credit to both teams playing a big game and playing it right. Yes. Hell, here we go. Here we go. Fourth and four. This is Ball the game. game. This is the game. This Ball is the game. game. Central showing. Ayala looks. He shoots at the underthrow. In. Look in the flat. Look in the flat. Intended for number one, Brandon Fitted, just a little bit underthrown. I don't know if that quarterback was hit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened there. There's Ayala's coming off the field. 127 remaining. No timeouts left. No, no. timeout. They're no. done. They're done with the timeouts. Victory formation for the Spartans. That was the play. That was a great game here. That drive was 10 plays. Started yep. at the one yard Started line. Started at the one yard line. Three runs, seven passes. They got three first downs. And they end the drive with the under on a, going for it on fourth down. Central can take uh, the victory formation now. It was a quick, it was a very good football game. I mean, the momentum was going back and forth. Yep. No better example than in the last three possessions of the first half. Oh, I'm telling you. What a ball game. What so the, a ball game. The Tigers will fall to 6-3. and three. Spartans improved to 7-2. and two. More importantly, 3-0 and in league as they're looking forward to the Bell game next week as the Brawley Wildcats, I think, are leading Colexico at the time. So yeah. if that takes... Which will decide the championship. And it'll be the championship. So is this the last play? 29 seconds remaining. The clock is ticking. The officials are telling them, you know, hey, you know, this is just... It's run it this is formality. Let's go home, regroup, and we'll see you guys. So that being said... As I said, Central now improves to eight and two. They're three and zero oh in league. Imperial falls to one and two in league. They are now six and three. As we said, the big ball game, of course, in the Imperial Valley, the classic of all, the Bell game here at Cal Jones Field next Friday. We'll be here doing it. Eight days from now, mark it on your calendar. If Brawley holds serve against uh, Calexico. As Coach said, as always, many, 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 many times, the Bell Game is the league championship. Yeah. IVL, DVL, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. It was a tremendous ball game, Ronnie. It was a good, great ball game. And one of the coolest things to see in, in, in high school football, the, the, you know, good sportsmanship, the color, the pageantry, it's awesome, man. Nothing but sportsmanship going through right, right now. there. Well, hey, hard-fought game. Yes. Hard-fought game. Well, it... Good coaching and certain scenario football, situational football, good coaching. Yep. It. This is one. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to say this. This is one of those games. It's a shame that anybody. Yeah. Had to there lose. you go. There you go, coach. Really, it is. With that being said, we'll be right back for a summary as the as the Central Spartans have taken the victory. 14 to 3 over Imperial. Back to Cal Jones Field with a quick wrap-up. Coach, 14-10 victory for the Spartans. What's next? Well, 
the Tigers have got to regroup for their last yeah. ball game to finish out the season. And of course, next week, uh, right? You know, Central's going to face Brawley in the Bell game. That's going to decide the championship. Uh, t- right now, you know, before anybody says, you know, well, who you think's going to win and whatever, uh, I tell you, Central ran into a very tough Imperial Tiger football team here tonight, and that's going to be a barn burner next week. Well, you know, Imperial came back, showed a lot of character after last week's yes. big game loss. I mean, they came back. Yes, they, they did. fought tooth and nail towards the end. Spartans, uh, offensively, thought I thought they'd get, get a lot more production than what they did tonight, but the defense of the of the Tigers credit the t- defense of the Tigers. Yeah, I was going to say, don't, you, we can't take no, a oh, thing no. away from them. The, you know, it, it, you say, well, Central just didn't do that well offensively. Hey, Oops, you got to give the Tiger credit. defense some credit. And, you know, not in the Central Spartan offense ran well. They were they were moving the ball. It just had yep. great Four, defense, two, great two, plays two. when – Plays needed to be made by yeah. both teams. Yes. Both yes. defense. It's a 14-10 game, coach. Yep. Each yes. team scored two, had two scores. Yep. You know, the defenses were dominant tonight. And, and defense wins championships, man. And you know what? Do you realize how much Central's defense was on the field exactly. in the second half? Exactly, exactly. Yep. So time of possession to the Tigers, that was going to be very critical yes. for them to win. It didn't happen. Good luck next week to all the teams that play. And with that being said, I want to thank everybody out here. Will Torres, Mike Swearingen, Emmanuel Barr, Joaquin Matus, Ron Rubio, Saul Pena, and the beautiful Sarah Rubacaba Torres. Good night from Cal Jones Fields. We'll see you next week. Join us at Cal Jones Field for the next Bell Game, Friday, October 27th at 7 p.m. South Cali Air Conditioning, proud sponsor of